so. That was fire. What up? That was great. Yeah, hello. What, what it is, what it does, what it does, cuz. What's going down, y'all? Welcome back to the Low Priority Podcast. Uh, it's your boy Danny here. People are going to be like, yo, why is Danny laying down? Let's just cut to the chase. Uh, your boy uh, has a pilo nidal cyst that comes around every once in a while, flares up and fills up with goopy goo, and it's got a drain out of my butt, so I had to go to the doctor and get my butt drained, and now I'm back in the building, but my doctor said that I'm not allowed to sit down for prolonged periods of time, Yeah. so I can't do it right now. But uh, yeah, so we had to uh, call an audible. I'm laying on the floor. Uh, my brothers, Michael and Jared, are here. Yeah, what it is, what it does. What's does. up? What's, Be like. what's, what's going down? You know what it does? Doing? doing great, man. Yeah, better than, better than you. <laughs> Danny's looking at us, and I only see like... He's like eyes, like trying to look at us, and he looks like he's asleep. Like he's asleep. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's, yeah, he's in his prone position. But he's trying to. But he can't like move his head or anything, so <laughs> he just looks down, and I can just see his eye at the bottom of his lid. Hell yeah, <laughs> looking back Sneak at us. Peak. I might fall asleep in this episode, but it's just because I'm laying down. It's not because I don't want to do it. Right, it's just fire. Well, I, I'm the type of person. I, the doctor uh, asked me. He goes, "How sedentary is your lifestyle?" I said, "It's the most sedentary." of i think ever in my life i don't do anything bro yeah right. i need to do more things i don't do shit yeah yeah i sleep all the time right uh if i'm not doing stand-up i don't go outside right you're on the computer most of the time right like, yeah yeah i'm on the computer or i'm playing video games i need to just I you're like the you're like the fucking titanic you just got like barnacles growing on your ass yeah dude that's what, exactly what it is <laughs> a, a, a pilonidal cyst is the booty barnacle dude. yeah that's what i mean it's like a booty barnacle got booty i got booty bar. Bar. i got booty barns that's because i said that when you were like when you said when you said sedentary i was just thinking about all that shit that's why is it sedentary or sedentary i don't know what it is sedentary I think it's sedentary. It's sedentary. Yeah. Sedentary lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I live mostly. That's that, that's mostly what my life is. So my doctor was like, so what do you do for a living? First thing I go in, the doctor uh, goes, so what do you do for a living? I go, I do podcasting and stand up. And then he goes, yeah, you should probably do more standing up. <laughs> so I was like, okay, was that a joke? Or like, you know, like, is this guy trying to sun me? Or is yeah. he like trying to tell me a joke? But uh, yeah, so I had to do this for like a week, maybe two, but I have uh, like antibiotics so like to get rid of it. It's This isn't like the worst flare. That I've just ever speeds had. up the process of it going away, right? Yeah. Or so like, it doesn't get infected. Right. So like it doesn't reach infection levels of like when I first had it and it yeah. was so bad. Because is it the same spot? On your ass? Yeah, so it, it it can form in the same spot or around the same spot. Right. Because when you first have it, the infection is, like, so bad that it actually creates little sinus tracts. What? Like, you get... Fucking gross. Yeah, you get little holes where, like, like goo comes out. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks. So I showed my brothers my butt before this. It looks pretty good, though. Yeah, I had to pull. His, yeah, I had to pull his ass to the side to look did. at it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah did. you didn't wash your hands after that either. Nah, I, nice. I licked it. I but sucked my fingers like I had chicken fingers. I thought I had staff. I made fun like of chicken, Jared for having chicken staff chicken on wise, his ass. Yes, came <laughs> chicken, back to get you. Chicken wise. Oh yeah, you had staff ass. You had you have a Pil cyst, pilo cyst, ass. Pilo ass. Is that what it's called? Pilo nidal cyst. It's called. That's what you pilo asked me if I had because I was having pain in my cheeks or not my cheeks in like my tailbone yeah but that was just from sitting i think weird on a nerve or something for too long have you ever had hemorrhoids yeah i still do like every once in a while what's that feel like hemorrhoids was it's like it's painful when you take a shit it's like there's it's like it's it, it feels as if your shit is the thing that has what's scratching you so it feels like there's like a little blade on the end of your shit oh and, it, and it, when it comes out of your butt it just like stings and cuts your ass no damn thing. your whole but uh if you get prep h it helps a shit ton so i tried it i did it for the first time no and pun intended, I, no pun intended shit, yeah shit ton. shit ton and i fucking put uh you have to I don't know what it's called. It, the, the tip is called something. There's a term for the tip, the fucking tip that goes on prep H, but it's got holes in it. Reservoir? No, it's like it's some. It's some. It's some word. If you, if you, if Jared, if you want to look yeah. it up, but uh, you t you put it on, and then you have to squeeze it to test it. So you just see the prep H come out of the holes, <laughs> and then you have to, and then you have to. Uh, R like lube it up with your fingers. Oh wait, prep H goes up goes your asshole inside your ass. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you have hemorrhoids in there, you have to go in and then you have to just squeeze it, and you could and it has to fill. It has to just go 
inside your inside your butt. It's your anus. Yeah, and it looks like a like tree branch, like jelly tree branches, like coming out of the side, and it has to go in your ass, and it has to spread around, and and after you slide it out, you have to sit down for you have to sit on the side. You have to do it on your side like you are right now. Yeah, and you have to stay there for five minutes after. <laughs> Bro. The, the applicator? Or is yeah, like applicator. There you applicator. go. Yeah. Shit. Sorry. I don't know why. That, that's like, yeah, yeah, look that up, Jared. Fucking yeah, I thought it was going to be some other word that was like. Crazy. Yeah, like Fugazinone. In, Inducinator. <laughs> some weird. Scott, Scott Amooch. Scott Amooch. Can, can you do that appropriation H sound again? Yeah, do that again. <laughs> that's what I. If there was like a mic right in my inside of that's my what ass, it sounded like. getting it. And I saw like a camera just seeing like the goop go everywhere and touch things. And you have to turn it. You have to turn the oh. tube a little bit, and Hell then yeah. you have to and then you have to take it out slowly out of your ass, and then you had to sit there for five minutes afterwards, <laughs> like you just got fucked. Damn, Damn yeah. dude, you like got That's... cream pie, dude. And I forgot that it said five minutes the first time, so <laughs> oh I God, I, like I took it out and out. I got up. Yeah, I you was cream like, pie yourself coming out of my ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> It was so weird. And it's so weird when you're at home because you're by yourself and you're like, God, if people were here right now, they'd just be like, what the hell's happening? What is going but on? I just sit on the side and I just go, I just I just at home and I got like I had a tank like a like a tank top on and I'm just sitting there and my legs are naked, but I have a shirt on the top and I'm just getting and I'm just shoving this thing on my ass at home. And like it just think about if somebody wanted to like surprise me, like yeah. if Jared was like, I haven't seen Mike in a little bit. That's what I would have walked in on. It, right. And we do weird things. You would have like hit on the window to fuck with me or right, something. Right. And Jared just turns in and just sees my and just sees my back like towards the window. <laughs> Fucking your ass. Yeah, just slowly putting an applicator up my ass. Damn, dude. How many times do you have hemorrhoids? I think I honestly don't know what the cycles are when it's time <laughs> when it's time Your hemorrhoid cycle? yeah <laughs> like a period yeah. <laughs> yeah it'd be funny if like dudes have cycles like uh chicks have periods yeah that'd be Just, so like, funny hemorrhoids. that would yeah. be awesome because i mean pe periods hurt don't they yeah cramps and stuff well, cramps, yeah yeah, yeah. Uncomfortable. i mean i don't know i've never had one but i've been told i also heard flying uh flying places can uh i think like make your period happen faster or some shit like that really yeah. like or, high altitude? or not faster but it can affect your period yeah the yeah. craziest thing about periods is that if you keep women in a room long enough they'll their periods will sync up what do, what do you mean sync up? i don't like, even think they have to be in a room i think it's just like working together they 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 kind of just like they start to synchronize Look, 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 yeah, look no, up period true. synchronization, yeah, yeah, but no, um, synchronization, uh, synchronization, synchronization, <laughs> synchronization is like the name of like a, like a, like a band. Yeah. Synchronation. Synchronation. Yeah. Synchro. Go yeah, synchronization. No, but uh, yeah. So say you regularly have your period on the 30th of every month. Okay. And I regularly get it the 15th of every month. If we're around each other like enough we'll both like start getting our periods together like Whoa. on the 20th. So is it is it like yawning? Yeah, it is. Like periods are contagious, but then like you contagious. Yo, yeah, I you guys become says, like period buddies. It says uh menstrual synchrony also called the McClintock effect <laughs> or the uh the Wellesley uh, effect is a contested process whereby women who begin living together in close proximity would experience their menstrual cycle onsets, the onset of menstruation or menses. Uh, becoming more synchronized together in time when previously than than when previously living apart. For example, the distribution of onsets of seven female lifeguards was scattered at the beginning of the summer, but at three after three months spending uh, spent together, the onset of all seven cycles fell within a four day period. Whoa! What the fuck? Yeah. My life and none of them got pregnant that summer. That's pretty awesome. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> also, also, who are these? What a shitty pool. Yeah, yeah right? I want to go to that pool. Also, what the fuck? Who are these like three lifeguards that they made this test on? Yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. chose lifeguards. Why was it lifeguards? I'm pretty sure lifeguards are like always 16 too. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, what is what is the oldest age for for like a? I wonder what it is for like a pool place. To, isn't it usually everyone's? How old were you when you were lifeguard? I started like, working at 15, and I think like the oldest lifeguard we had there at the time was probably like mid 30s. Yeah, but I, I guess it's if you're just physically capable of. Well, yeah, well, that's true. Well, yeah, passing I was, the exam, it doesn't really matter. But I was like 25 when I was yeah. a when I was a fucking lifeguard. When I worked at the group home, there was a dude that was there that was like in his 50s, and he had all his lifeguard certification in order to work there. You had to do it. Yeah, that's true. And then you have to have people who are older that probably still are, but they teach all the younger people how to be a lifeguard too, yeah. as well. Or it's yeah. just a bunch of perv old dudes just working. Yeah, with yeah I was speaking thinking of pervs, that too. Though, yeah. Speaking of pervs, though. 
uh, in the lifeguard realm. You know what was always so weird to me? I used to work at a camp, and the lifeguard girls would see, like, second or third grade boys and be like, he's going to be so hot when he gets older. Oh, uh, were you? Wait, were you at a camp? Yeah, at a camp. Jesus. And I was just like, I was like, this that's gross. Just, like, just why like, are you saying that? Put those bitches in jail. What the yeah. fuck? Dude, they get why do girl, girls get away with that? They, they get, could, like, yeah. say, like, a little boy is going to be hot when he gets older. Yeah. I don't think I've ever imagine, heard that. I feel know, like imagine, I would have. I feel like I would have reported. Imagine it. I said that. <laughs> imagine I was just. Oh, we would have been fucked. I come off the high of the high chair, right? And I'm like, "Yo, that third grade girl is gonna be so hot when she gets older. Yeah. I'd get fired. I wouldn't even be talking yeah. to you right now if you did that once. It's like, come here. <laughs> just hit her with a whistle. Like, come here. I'm gonna buy you some ice cream. Like, get away. Get away. Call, yeah. me, call me when you turn 18. Yeah. yeah. yeah if you were fucking, if you said that, I'd be like, like, I wouldn't I'm even. Six. That's why I feel like I don't remember. I don't. I've never known a girl ever saying that. No, the girls do that shit all the time. Yeah. Girls, I girls like will say a- young boys are going to be hot. Yeah. They're weird. They groom people like that, too. It's scary. What the hell? Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. Grooming is weird because grooming and grooming aren't, shouldn't be associated with each other. Like, grooming is a good thing. I feel not, like not, I don't not like the grooming that the people do. I'm saying right. grooming like grooming yourself into <laughs> like your body. Yeah. Your hair. Yeah. 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 I never yeah. understood that term, grooming. Grooming doesn't sound like a... It's it, should, just, it should be more like pruning. Or Why are we it also just, yeah, just pruning like, or lazy. crooning like crooning and crooning. crooning you? Yeah. It's also just lazy. Why are we fucking using just use a different word? I know. Like if someone was like she's grooming him, I'm like, oh great, oh, my kid's getting up. a bath. Yeah. Use like griming. Like griming is if you want to keep it, you don't want to you want to change a few letters, just cha- put the change, take out the O's and put an I. And yeah. Just call it griming, dude. Yeah. You want to know what bothers me too? You ever sounds dirtier? <laughs> yeah, it does sound way dirtier. <laughs> griming. This guy's griming her. And then I'd be like, See? oh, that guy needs to go to that jail. That guy needs to, yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy. Gro- <laughs> grooming, it's like, oh, I'm grooming my dog. You'd be like, how dare you? Yeah. It's disgusting. Like, if I, yeah, someone came to me and was like, listen, um, <laughs> Miss Jackson has been grooming your son. I'm like, oh, great. Like, yeah. I don't have to give him a bath. Yeah. It's awesome. That's why yeah. it looks so nice. Yeah. You remember, like, there is a, but the other, like, uh, oxymoron, too, is like, if you were a boy and got head from a teacher, like, you were the coolest kid ever. But if a girl got touched by it, like a male teacher, it was horrible. They're yeah. both horrible. Yeah. But you know, a, a kid was considered cool. Yeah. Um. It's definitely. It's definitely was considered cooler if it was like a young guy doing it. Hell yeah. And then if he told his friends, everyone else would be like, "Oh, it's fucking awesome, dude! I can't believe you're banging that teacher." Yeah. Dude, <laughs> you know I mean? like, yeah this kid is the coolest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you would have been like, "What the hell? I want to be like this guy." And then you don't realize, like. <laughs> Cops show up to this bitch's house and she's getting arrested, and the kids just at home like not getting any sort of like playing cod, any sort of like <laughs> reprimanding at all. He's just fucking yeah. yeah he's just at home yeah. fucking like yeah playing cod and shit, just fucking relaxing. Well, that's I mean that's crazy. Kind of going yeah. to like yeah. lacrosse practice. Yeah, he's like I don't know what happened. Dog. And then she just gets. Also, have you noticed that? Some of the teachers, the girls that get caught, they're like all like good looking women. Like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of them have been like, they're not like fucking meth looking fucks. They're just like, they're like either younger, they're younger, nicer looking women. It's always like, what are you doing? Can you just get like a, like, are you, is that why you got the job in the first place? Or are you just sitting there like, oh, yeah, give him fucking A plus? Well, that, yeah, that was what happened in our school though, in that one situation. Yeah. She was kind of hot. Like, she wasn't a teacher, she was like a, Let's just say, I mean, she wasn't like a teacher. She didn't teach English, but like she shouldn't be sucking any kids' cocks. Yeah, she's a, she was a sit-in for like study halls or something. Yeah, you shouldn't be touching any kid's penis is, is yeah, what, what I'm you, trying to what get What are at. you fucking doing? Yeah. What no no one in high school is 18, so, right? Yeah, look at this. I mean, former teacher Brittany Zamora, 30, was assigned as a tutor in prison despite serving a 20-year sentence for sexually abusing her 13-year-old student. A 31-year-old U.S. woman who admitted having sex with a 13-year-old and becoming pregnant with his baby has avoided jail time. Yeah, that's no crazy. Jail time, bro. Wait, you can have babies when you have 13-year-old sperms? Yeah, you yeah, could, yeah, dude, yeah. It only takes one cum. <laughs> that's crazy, though. It only takes one little cum. I feel like at 13, I tried coming and yeah, yeah. You only, it only takes one yeah. sperm. And I think, can you see how many sperm come out when you ejac? I tried looking, I tried looking, uh, like I remember, I remember doing it. I don't know if it was 13, but I remember at one point, cause someone, t- one of my friends was like, you know, like stuff comes out when you get like, when you like, 
when you get done jerking it? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I was like, well, what comes out? And he's just like, like a jelly or something. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, like go home and try it. And remember when you were younger? Cause you didn't oh, know. Yeah. And I went home and I couldn't. And at the end of it, it just, I was just like, oh, it burns. And I couldn't get, to, I couldn't <laughs> get to a nut. I remember the first time I nutted, it was, I was like amazing. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. That's what nut is. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. I wish I could remember my first nut. So it says a uh, fertile male ejaculates two, between two and five milliliters of semen on average, about a teaspoon. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, but, okay. but how many sperm are, could, are no. in it? Oh, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. And uh, in each milliliter, there are normally about 100 million sperm. And it just takes one, dude. Damn, I've killed gazillions of sperms. Yeah, really. dude. Yeah. Fucking more than that. Cumicide, dude. I've killed. So, <laughs> I fucking killed like. I've killed like committed a, mass cumicide, yeah. bro. I've killed. <laughs> I've killed spermicide. So many sperms. Yeah, sperm. It, oh yeah, spermicidal lube is a real term. Spermicide. It's, it's so funny because we. It's them. so funny. We we nut. We just see like the fucking goo, and then we're like, all right, wipe it off. But microscopically, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where am I supposed to go? I'm just like dying inside. Just watching. Yeah, 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 just watch, yeah. And it's just like, please, no. <laughs> Dude, you ever, you guys, you, guys ever, you guys ever have those days where you just shoot monster ropes? Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, it's like, it's not, it's kind of rare. How do you do it? Like, have you ever been like, have you ever noticed, have you ever looked and just been like, okay, but how did I do that this time? Was it because you were extra mentally into it? Well, I think I think it's the amount of time you spend holding it. And then it's also uh. what, what, what your stroke is like. Because if you notice in porn, the guys that shoot the crazy ropes yeah. are not like going nuts through it. They kind of hit it with this one and then, it, and then they just pulsate and then it shoots. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, dude, it's yeah. wild that I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, know, I, know. I know exactly what <laughs> like that's I've never really done that. I guess yeah. I just kind of just get it over with because yeah. I'm just Jane. Yeah, 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 exactly. But there's I think there's tricks to it. Where, right. The, where those dudes like because there are some dudes in porn that are just known for right. like that ability. But that's probably just like a, a natural fucking skill that they have yeah, yeah peter, it, peter north shoots monster ropes all the time yeah though. but he yeah. takes stuff didn't he take like enhancement like uh like rope shooting medicine i think that was just bs for him to like sell like supplements yeah they were like want to be like pete he used to bang dudes too pete skeet skeet yeah yeah he, he banged yeah he did bang dudes i did was he gay, gay for pay it's called gay for pay do they nut on dude do guys get nut on the face yeah, I they have to, so. right? Yeah, the money shot, money shots. Money yeah, I don't. Shot. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's. I was that's waiting. Who's gonna say yeah faster? <laughs> faster. <laughs> yeah. No, I was trying to register the question. I was just like, yeah. I was like, they yeah. have to get shots on the face. Do you right? know how I learned what cum was? How? When you were younger? When you were um, like a little kid? When, no, like. <laughs> so, yeah, when I was a little kid, this is how I learned what like what cum was. Like I've always heard of like cum, kind of, but like right. didn't know what cum was. <laughs> yeah. And then I was watching Silence of the Lambs. What? At, uh, oh, and he threw it on her? Yeah, at yeah. a friend's house. And, it, and there's a scene in Silence of the Lambs. See, this is what you get if you don't watch Silence of the Lambs you've on never, HBO. You've never watched Silence no, of the I Lambs? No, I have, but I don't remember sperm throwing. Yeah, I would because, remember that. Because you've never seen it probably on HBO. You've probably only seen it on like AMC and shit. No, I've seen the the real fucking version of it. So, so yeah, but, you, yeah, if you saw the real, you would remember this, dude. He, he fucking Spider-Man's Jodie Foster. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, he's just like she's walking through the cells, walking to Hannibal Lecter, and this guy's just like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, another cellmate. Yeah, another cellmate, yeah. and she's like, oh, what's going on, Doctor Lecter? And like looks at him, and he's just like, Stow! oh <laughs> fucking, my god, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Man's her dude. Yeah, somebody wrote that. Somebody wrote that into a script. Yeah, that uh, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, in those kind of facilities, throwing throwing uh, fluids on people, body bodily fluids is pretty common yeah but, Shit, th but piss, jizz. that's just kind of crazy that somebody wrote that in a script how and like you know how they there's like she walks yeah. down a cold empty jail cell you yeah. ever yeah. see yeah, you yeah, ever read yeah, a script yeah, and they're yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. and it's like uh, starling enters basement uh, uh like cells yeah she's her her eyes uh her attention's caught by frequent moving in the cell to her left she yeah. peeks closer to get there and the inmate turns and Spider Man semen into her face. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, man. I was gonna say. Imagine it just says, and then this dude just throws fucking semen in her face. <laughs> like, and then and then and then this guy, he just jerks off and just like, throws his cum all over her yeah, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like so the dude that was writing it. His boy yeah. came in and was like, "Yo, put that nut scene in there. Yeah, yeah, keep it in there. Yeah, keep that shit. Or he just did it like he did it. And he's like, "All right, well, that's it. 
for the day, and he just went in there while he was asleep and put it in <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> it's like I wrote that for it. Also, that was funny how you said it because I'm just thinking about it written like that. And then, and then this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and then she like walks up to him. The guy's like shaking all like hardly, and then like she turns around and just throws cum in her face. <laughs> my, I said I said this before on the podcast, but my favorite line from that movie is when she's like. Like when she's, I think it's that one. I don't know if it's the other one because he's isn't Hannibal Lecter in three of them or something. He's in Hannibal. Uh, he's in Silence of the Lambs, and, and then the Dragon. one with Red Dragon. He's with in. Ed Norton. What's the one with Ed Norton? Red Dragon. Red Dragon. All right. So and uh, uh, Ralph Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. 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 Yeah. Fiennes. Oh yeah, he's great in that yeah. shit. Um, how? First off, I just want to say, how scary is fucking. Anthony Hopkins in those fucking movies. Very Amazing. scary. He's do you un see? he's unreal. Yeah, he's like, do you see? Look at my work. Do you but see? My favorite line is, yeah, he keeps going. Do you see? <laughs> do you see? Um, or that's Ralph that does that. Uh, but I remember <laughs> my favorite line is is they're ta they're <laughs> talking and then they're talking, and she just goes, I don't know if like you'll have time, and then Anthony Hopkins just goes. I have oodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite line. It's so scary and kind of like he's just like his his like eyelids go up and he's so sassy with it and I shit. Have oodles. I have oh, I have oodles. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, if you really yeah, yo, you want to know what's kind of crazy too is movies are just like not as good as they used to be. Like there used to be really good movies and now every once in a while we get like that random independent movie that's like really good, right? Yeah. Like uh big studios, they're all superhero movies now, right? But like I'm excited to go see Oppenheimer. Uh but I was like I have to do research on Oppenheimer before I see cuz I don't want I like I don't want to be so dumb when I go see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like learn about the atomic bomb and shit like that. Maybe it's dumbed down for you though. Yeah, I guess so, but I feel like you have to be somewhat like privy to like the atomic bomb or whatever. Yeah. So I was doing a bunch of research on it, and when you hear about you know uh, Hiroshima, uh, Hiroshima, mm -hmm. and Nagasaki, um, you know yeah, that's nice. what the only things you associate. <laughs> nice. That's the only thing you associate the atomic bomb with. But what I didn't know was was that they they did like practice atomic bombs yeah. on American soldiers that they would put them on a boat. Yeah, bring um, them out, out out into the middle of the ocean. Yeah, and they, and they would say, "Cover your eyes, don't look at the blast. It's going to go off, and then like we're going to show you, like we're going to see like what happens to you guys." The guy said, "When the light was so bright, when the atomic bomb went off, that if you were looking at me right now, you would see an X-ray of me. You would just see my skeleton." What? Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, and then like all those guys, like uh, their kids were all fucked up. When they were born, it fucked with their seat, with their sperm. It fucked with everything, bro. Yeah. They all got cancer and shit. So, yeah. like, the American government, uh, the British government did it, where they would literally have these people go out on boats and they would just send them off. So, what happens was, is the bombs would go off, and people would be like, "Oh, all right, that was crazy." Like, just a loud bang, and they would stand up. But like the after. Like current of the aftershock yeah. of it yeah. would like throw them around, broke their arms and oh, legs. Oh, the shock and shit. wave! Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. What? Crazy. Yeah, In millions of miles, not millions, but like miles out. Miles too, probably. and miles, probably. And miles. Yeah. In uh, in uh, it's scary to think about that we've dropped the atomic bomb before. It's I fucking think, terrifying. I think they said in Hiroshima. Yeah, I think, I think it's Hiroshima, right? Yeah, they yeah, said well, that they people. Say Hiroshima. People. They say. Hiroshima. People's uh, outlines Japanese of them were like on the wall. Yeah. People that were like this, you could like see it on the walls from the explosion and That's shit. That's fucking wild, dude. That yeah. shit turned people into like dust. Yeah, there's a wa there's a really fucked up documentary uh, on it too. That's like it's. I mean, it's it's a lot to fucking watch. It's like pretty fucking like it'll it'll definitely trigger your anxiety if you have some because it's just the fact that it was real and it could be used and it was, and then the and then the fact that there's worse shit now. Like, there's bombs that are bigger than nuclear bombs, well, too, which yeah, is no. even fucking scarier shit to think about. Like, Oppenheimer was, like, depressed after it. Because he, he, in a sense, like, created it uh, to never use it. Like, kind of like how we have it now, yeah. but just to be like, hey. Yeah, if we got to. Yeah, yeah and then, and then like, thing. Harry S. Truman was like, no, nah, we got to do that. And then it they sent it off, and then, like, Harry S. Truman, President Truman, came on TV, was like, uh, yeah, we dropped, like, mad shit on fucking japan so it said 1945 july 16th 1945 was the uh plutonium was the first plutonium implosion device 
was tested at a site located 210 miles south of Los Alamos, New Mexico, on the plains of Alamogordo. Uh, Al Alamo Damn, Gordo, you said that bad good, dog. Right? Alamo Gordo, a uh, bombing range known as the Jornada de Muerto. Damn, dude, you speak Spanish mad good, dude. Yeah, that you're in good. Miami for fucking three years. Yeah, yeah, Better yeah, be able to fucking know. work that. Was, the code name speaks. was called Trinity. The code name is called Trinity. Like, imagine that, dude. Like, you sign up and they're like, hey, what's up? We're going to put you over there and we're going to blow this thing up to see how, what it does to you. Yeah, and I think they said that they dropped manuals first that said we're going to do this, and it was in English. Yeah. <laughs> really? I think that's what it, yeah, Man, I'm pretty I, sure I, I remember that they dropped, like, safety manuals first, like, go in your house. Fuck, dude. The cast of Oppenheimer's crazy, though. Yeah, it's, it's stacked. Yeah. Killian Murphy, I think Emily Blunt's in it. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon. Um, no, was in it. Josh Peck's in it. I didn't know that Josh Peck was in Oppenheimer. Yeah, I mean he he lands a lot of fucking stuff. I, I he's you'll find him in things. You're just like he's usually like someone on the. I, I mean I don't know if his role is big this time, but yeah, he still he still does a lot of work. I didn't know that he was. I knew he was on like I think he does a podcast now or something like that. But. Yeah, I've seen him around. That's the homie though. Shout out JP. Josh Peck. Yeah, the remember, come on the show, met Josh JP. From, from Vine. Yeah, Josh is a good dude. Come on the come on the show, JP. Josh, um, Josh, peck it up. No, but uh, peck so, it, peck it up. So if you guys don't know, we all went to the T Pain concert. I'm gonna let uh, lead the story for Michael to tell. But uh, Michael, uh, you know, as we've all said, is uh, he's work. He's doing a lot better. You're almost a year sober, right? Yeah, we're almost. I'm uh, on the 25th. I have two more months until a year. All right, so you, you're almost 10 months sober, dude. That's fucking crazy. Good yeah, for it's you. Fucking nuts. So we went to we went to. Uh, it was me, Jared, and Danny, and we went, and it was absolutely fucking awesome. Jared showed up, uh, Danny showed up, then Selena showed up, and we were just chilling. We're hanging out, and I was like, "This is just so nerve wracking because, like, I don't. I always tell people all the time if I was a spider that my name would be the Brown Recluse. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> if you, if you, or if you like, I became, don't, became I don't, like a yeah. enemy of Spider Man. Yeah, I just like I don't. I everyone knows like. So lately, like after six years, I really I don't want to blame it on Twitch, but Twitch is a big part of why the fuck I just stopped leaving because my work's at home and I don't really like you were saying yeah. before. I don't know. I'm sedimentary or sedentary, yes, <laughs> sedentary, sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary. so we're like I'm sitting at home all the time and I don't really I pushed myself a few times. Like I went to I did Danny's wedding in New York. Thank God, because Danny would have never talked to me again. Yeah, probably but, not. But I went to Danny's wedding. That was my. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. T-Pain concert, amazing. But seeing Danny get married, like I remember, like my heart was like going in my butt because I couldn't believe it was like real and happening. And it's so fun. <laughs> it's so funny, by the way, not to get sidetracked. But Danny went from like this place to get married with like couches with holes and tape covering them <laughs> to like this amazing, beautiful like goat mountain in fucking Spain. Hell yeah. Uh, but anyway, so this was big for me because I had to live the life that I was living, not doing much, mm -hmm. and then go and meet T-Pain, his fucking friends fucking chicks that I don't we don't you know it's all this shit and then meet people for VIP access because he told me later on so I told him yo we'll be there at like seven or like eight and he goes nah buddy gonna need you here at like five and I was like why <laughs> and that's how he talks yeah, too he's yeah. like so I was like why and he's like well, well we're doing like a VIP access and you're part of Nappy Boy Gaming so you know and I was like oh no one fucking told me that yeah. so we rushed it I, I rushed it got there way earlier and then we're tech I'm texting him and, and his wife and I'm like, yeah, we're here, we're ready to go. And he's like, cool. And she's like, cool. And she's like, and I was like, uh, what's up? Like, you guys in there? Like, nah. Like, we're mad hungover. We're not. He missed his sound check. <laughs> and like, they didn't even get there till I got there first. But um, oh, you were there before him. I was there before him. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. So we were. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Yeah. So we're. J I'm sitting in there. We get there. He was just, bro. He's the fucking nicest guy. Ever. He really is. Even oh, God, even if he, he has really to. Is. Even if he has to wait, put wait, on wait, a wait, fucking. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was oh. sick. I, thought it was your, <laughs> I saw you do it, but it sounded like your mouth. It did. Yeah, it sounded like both. So was, we're fucking, we're, fucking, uh, that was sick. Fart Wait, that's my mic. So we're, um, you just farted on my mic. <laughs> so we're sitting. <laughs> like my yeah, don't do that. That's blackface. So <laughs> we're, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're sitting. So we're fucking, uh, we're sitting there. He comes in. Amber gets in there and uh, dude, it was like we could fuck with each other right away. We were it was like we just talk on Twitch. 
when I got, I won't lie, when I was on the way there, when we when we were getting up the elevator, I was like, oh fuck, this is elevators have this thing where they just yeah. fucking make me just everything's like, like going the, wrong. The, the, the flight of doom. So we're uh, we got there. I met him. He's the nicest guy ever. I was really stoked though for him to meet you guys because I knew I knew after he met me, but I was like, he's gonna meet the family. He's gonna be like, yo, this family is just. Like these guys are all because everyone had their own things. Jared got him a drink after he was on set, yeah. but we got there. We played Mario Kart with him and he Hell was just yeah. talking shit. Yeah. Danny's like sitting here. He's like, he's like, yeah, motherfucker. Like, in, <laughs> like in Danny's face. Yeah. And Danny's just sitting there like, dude, I don't play this game. He kicked everyone's ass. And uh, it was just me and Danny were telling dro jokes like the room was loving us. And I started just getting comfortable. And it was yeah. a thing like Danny would tell me about and that you told me about, too. Danny and Jared would always be like, like, dude, once you're in the environment and you give it like 20, 30 minutes and you realize you haven't passed out or anything yet, yeah. like you're going to be fine. Like, I remember you guys telling me that. So I was just like, listen to you guys. Then when Danny showed up, I was like, ah, it's a wrap. I'm so comfortable right now. Yeah. And Danny just showed up the whole night. <laughs> T-Pain's sister was like, yo, is your brother like in the Sopranos? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm in, I'm in a big Soprano phase you want to know yeah. what's crazy is is before you get back to that story i've been wearing shirts like that for a minute and you know i have yeah and apparently like they're really big now yeah no button-ups that are because they're selling them at uh uh fuck like kohl's too yeah yeah i'm gonna gatekeep i'm not gonna say where i get mine from that's sorry okay. that's fine that's okay. uh, yeah. i'm gonna gatekeep but yeah so a, a lot of people have been like kind of jacking my swag the only reason i started dressing like that is because i have a belly I mean, it looks, I think the shirt, I thought the shirt looked amazing okay. on you. Okay. Yeah. They definitely, they're good for that, but I thought it looked, I thought it looked great on you. I, when you came in, I was like, I was so, and then I was like, where's Celine? Cause I thought Celine was coming, but she had something to do, but we're playing Mario Kart. That was fun. And it's just like, I, I got to meet Nando, his, the dude he just signed to Nappy Boy Gaming. And then I met Cash, who's his, like his best friend for since fucking, they lived in Florida and he was great. Uh, but we're all we're all just chilling. We're having a good time. And he changes, which I knew was going to happen a million yeah. times because he wanted to wear the Wisconsin Fest stuff to take pictures with fans because fans started coming up. And then I remember fucking with him because he was like, all right, take a picture with me here. And I'm like, I was like, yeah, chill. That's like where the fans do it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, like, yeah. like, a fan. <laughs> like, I knew like we were all joking with him. Danny was joking with him like you met him a million times. It was yeah. just it was so fucking fun. And then Jared showed up and I now I was even more fucking comfortable. I had spikes where I was definitely getting anxious, but I was like, I got to do this without meds or without alcohol. I have to. Yeah. But uh, we got outside. We're walking. When we were walking to the stage, I was like, yo, this is next level. Just celebrity shit. Like his yeah. life is I'm not we're not used to that. Like we're known, but we didn't have to do. We did. You do. I feel like for stand up you're starting to feel that because it's like get ready to go to stage you're in the green room so yeah but we were going up and it's just got this, 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 this one chick with a f fucking fat ass just walking up I'm like this is, this is life yeah you yeah. see the brooklyn bridge i'm like god i really need to like it was almost like i was like i gotta i gotta get out more but jared got there and then danny's da we're all sitting outside then we're chilling where he's waiting to go on and he puts on these like laffy taffy ass leather pants <laughs> yeah. to go do a show Danny's chilling, and all of a sudden, fucking Mark Reb Rebier, yeah, so Rebier. Rebier just shows up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. That that I'm gonna be honest. Like meeting Payne was awesome. Yeah, but I fucking love Mark. Mark's, Mark's the, the man. Shit that he made, That's the man. homie. Mark, come on the show, dog. Come on the show, dog. Yeah, and yeah. yo, super stylish. Number one, he's got dope style. Yeah, he number does. Two, he's the fucking nicest guy. He was. Mark so, is a sweetheart. Yeah, dude, so what nice. A nice, dude, man. Oh yeah, man. We, great so nice. energy, super energetic, just very funny. super cool. And yeah. then he disappeared. I don't know if he went to watch the show in the crowd. Or he, he's probably had people there with him. Maybe, yeah. yeah. So he like probably went to chill with them. Super, yeah, and super cool. And Danny and and Mark are friends already. But I was like, Yo, did you know Mark Rebier is here? And Danny's like, No. And he turns around, and then Danny just like pats him, and then he and then he turns around like, What the fuck are you doing? Like, What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, here? I, I flipped him off. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, did you give him the finger? Yeah, I put yeah, my finger yeah. like right here, and he's like, What the fuck? Oh shit, Dude, what's good? He, he's just he's so. He's great because he just will he will encourage your weird. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like I just started there's a really good video of me and Jared chilling and then I just start bust like start dancing I know cuz I was so excited to start dancing out of nowhere and I stopped and Mark goes, "You better continue that." <laughs> <laughs> and I just started and then he just there's a video of me like just going like this and Mark's like loving it. And I was like, "This guy, he's such he's such a chill uh just like a beautiful spirit." Yeah. Uh, and and then finally T's talking. I'm turning around. It was so fucking weird to me because I'm turning around. And Danny's like this. Like I'm like my brother's talking to T Pain right now. Jared's talking to T Pain. Jared's talking to Mark. And then yeah. we're you know it's just like what the f I was like. 
I was getting overstimulated, and there were points where I was like, "Am I gonna like pass out?" But I just fucking stuck with That's it, and so then, awful. and then finally, T was just like, "All right, we're going to the stage. Everybody, fucking going to the stage." Because yeah. he just seemed like he, he was so hungover, but he still put on such a show. Oh, but my show. my favorite part of the night was like anytime he was just like performing and the sounds going off, and I'm like looking at Danny or Jared, and they're just both like this, just like fucking heaven <laughs> just like yeah. everyone was in a euphoria because yeah being backstage for a guy that we've been listening to his music since fucking 2000 and fucking four 2005 S selena was hype yeah, yeah. danny's danny's what is so selena was fucking so i had no idea she liked him that much but then oh, i thought oh florida yeah yeah, yeah you gotta you gotta love fucking TV. she was he's losing she was so losing her hits. mind yeah he's got so many hits she, what it, she almost didn't come oh, i know I yeah did. i remember she was like i don't know like whatever like I have to work. She worked till eight. Yeah. So I was like, yo, like in my mind, I'm like, listen, I'm not going to like pressure you to come. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, you'll never get like an opportunity. Like yeah, this No, no. If we do, it'll be another year. He's in next year. If he's in New York, if he's even here. Yeah. Or if, but what's cool now is like, we can go to Florida or something. And if he's doing something or performing, we can just be like, yo, we're here. And he'll be like, all right, get the fuck in here. The, you want to know what I loved about that? Everybody was cool as shit. Yeah. Everyone was awesome. You want to know what I loved about that entire thing is you saw how many people loved him. Yeah. Like, love him. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, when you're looking out on a crowd and he's doing fucking buy you a drink and shit. Yeah. yeah. And you see all those people just smiling and have, like, people fucking love, they still love him, bro. Yeah. Like, T-Pain is loved. Yeah. He's a national fucking treasure. Dude. No, he is. He's really an American icon. I think he's up there with, like, the same way people like Snoop Dogg and shit. Yeah, dude. He's, he's an just, American icon, bro. But you don't think about it because... I, since I've been friends with him for a minute, not even flexing, it's just I don't. The I knew when I part goes away. It goes away. Like I just saw. I just saw. You know, fucking. Like there's a part of me that's getting to know Fahim, which is his. his yeah. Which most people don't know is his first name, but it was. Uh, it was my way of getting to to know him. And at the end, and I, bro, I know I had to do it because, like, in in a sense, he always says no, but I look at him as. Like I can do whatever the freedom for being on his label is so nice. Like I can bounce whenever the fuck I want. He won't give a shit. You know what I mean? Right. He has his own life. So we say always like he's not my boss, but to me, it's like I still want to prove so. And he's older, so it makes it a little bit better for me. Right. You know, he's two years on me and I'm like, I, I still want to prove something to this guy. And at the end of the night, I mean, first off, we're all hanging out. And my friend Brew, who got me in the group in the first place, comes up to me and just goes, yo, man, we're so we're going up. And I was like, nah, yo, I'm good. And he goes, nah, we're going up. And he grabbed my arm and yo, I just, something happened. Like I, I just saw, I just, I pictured your face just going like, like it was like, just, you just going, yeah, it was, it was like that. <laughs> was it, like, yeah. Yeah, it was. And I just pictured Jared just going like, oh my God, he's doing it, man. Yeah. So something just came over me and I said, fuck it. I went out with the bottle and I fucking threw it. I threw the water on all the fans. I was. I just turned feral. There was like people in front of me, like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah, like fucking. <laughs> was this at the end of the show when you ran? Yeah, yeah it was the Michael second. Ran, it was Michael the second to last. Michael ran up on stage with like the rest of like uh, uh, T's crew. Yeah, with T's crew, and it just was, did update. We did it. It was uh, all I do is win. Yeah, yeah. It was like synchronized. It was. It was good. I didn't even know what I was doing. I've never choreographed, and Mike was just like, Mike, said, yeah. just I was running back around, and yeah. forth. Yeah, and then the one thing that I nailed was when they got in the huddle. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? And then I just went over. I did the bandana thing, and was just doing that. But I was just freaking out. And when you're up there, bro, I just felt like this charge. Yeah. And I and I always hear people talk about it, performers. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, whatever. But I, I, I know I know what you get when you're done a show. It's sort of like that because yours are longer. But like, I just that charge that goes through you. I just was like fucking feral. I was like an animal. Yeah. And then we did that. And I remember. Well, I don't even remember doing it. I like blacked out. I like. I, the water bottle still had water in it, but I didn't want to keep holding it. So I just like threw it at everybody <laughs> that was backstage, like Jared and Danny and everyone. But it was everyone was. It was just I went from like not doing it. Like I guess my my point is is like. If you're at home and Danny's proven that you can do this too, like Danny's an inspiration for me too, but there's so many people that just wanted to see me fucking do something and get there. But I think going from just being home and then all of a sudden just on stage with T-Pain for, and it was like, I'm from New York and everyone there was New York. It was just like yeah. such a fucking awesome feeling. Yeah, dude, it was, it was, it, yeah, if you really think about it in, in the genesis of things we've all done together. Yeah. 
in like all three of us include is probably the coolest thing we've ever done. It was the yeah. cool seeing them happy and dancing and yeah. it was just like I was in heaven. I was like, I told myself if I can do this, this is the best fucking this is gonna be I don't know why anxiety makes you feel like you're going to like die before that day yeah. or during that day. Yeah, of course. It's so weird. It's impending doom, dude. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's like, that's a huge part of it is, right. the, is the impending doom feeling. Right. Yeah. And I always looked at it like this. I remember a doctor said it to me like super clearly one time. He's like, let me do, do me a favor. How many times you thought you've thought you've had a heart attack? Yeah. I was like, I don't know, like 300. He goes, all right, cool. He goes, how many times have you had a heart attack? Right. It's like yeah. none, none so far. Yeah. yeah. He's like, all right. So yeah. he's like, let me ask you another question. He goes, how many times you thought you were going to die? Yeah. And I looked at him. I was like, like, like three, 300 300. times. Yeah. And he was like, let me ask you this. How many times you how die? How many times you die? <laughs> and I was like, none yet. He's like, all right, man. Yeah. He's like, you got to kind of remember that in the moment. He's like, sometimes it's okay to have those like moments like where you don't want to chill or you yeah. like, you have like a panic attack, but I'm, I'm just the biggest uh, fan of exposure therapy like you just have to throw yourself to yeah you, and the, yeah and that's what i did and like and again jared the whole time was would check on but all you guys were but jared i remember the most was just like yo we're like are you good are you feeling all right and yeah. i was just like it was nice to have someone just be like yo if, yeah. if you need anything just let me know i'm here and it just now i'm not even gonna lie now i like i want to like fucking you know what i'm saying like i'm thinking you know it's one step at a time but I, now i want to fucking go places yeah. now i want to like yeah, do things because i just did that and i'm thinking like i like i could fucking pass out on stage and it'd be like the it wouldn't even matter it was the thing it was, is the, the, it was just the coolest feeling and I don't know. The the only weird part of the night was being Hannibal Burst. That guy was fucking high out of his fucking mind. Yeah, dude. Yo, <laughs> yo, Hannibal, Hannibal Burst was, was gone. so fucking high, bro. That shit was crazy. Or tired or something. I think he was, he was both. Cool. He was cool as fuck though. He was yeah, no, mad like, laid back. Mad cool. No, nothing to, like it's not it wasn't a bad thing. I just I just I don't even think he heard a fucking thing I said. He was, he was so, so fucking high. he was so high. T Pain's like, yo, yo, Lobes, come here, come here, come here. He's like, Danny, come here, come here, come here. He's like, these guys, like comedians, whatever. And I, you know how I am with that shit. I'm like, I don't say that about me, but like Danny's doing the stand up and stuff. And then, and then his wife's like, no, they did titty stuff. And he's like, oh, where? <laughs> like, I'm like, he doesn't give a shit. All right. But he was super, you know, he was super nice. I was just like, this man is every, feeling, yeah, every, every, feeling the night. Everybody there was super chill. I mean, even like, uh, because I didn't realize how many people were going to be there from Nappy Boy. Yeah. But, uh, but they were all super chill and fucking, um, I remember, seeing every, you in your element though like because i was watching you enjoy yourself and i was like he's not faking that because i michael doesn't fake shit you know what I mean? yeah, like, no. yeah and i was like he's genuinely enjoying himself and you could see it i was just like watching you kind yeah. of just put your guard down a little bit yep. and really like embrace what was happening yep. and i'm telling you people like us because we are all so similar those small things that have a big impact on us in a negative way good small things impact us in a great way so it's like even that kind of thing for you already has given you motivation to want to do more shit like just just keep going out there man, yeah and trying shit yeah and you'll yeah see it. and just it's the you i got one you got you got one fucking life yeah. you know what i mean so it, it's just i just that night i was just like i'm never gonna this summer already is the greatest summer of my life because you guys got to see me do it there was no. I don't think I was. Su I think, uh, like I said, there were spikes, but I don't think I suffered mentally once. You want, you want you to know what the cool? Like no, you didn't look like. It. You want to know what the cool thing is too? Is like, Jared has really crazy cool connections. I have like really cool crazy connections. I, it was kind of cool that this was like your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. yeah. you know, it was kind of yeah. like, yo, you guys like want to come to like T Pain, and I was like, oh fuck yeah, yeah. dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm going, dude. Yeah. yeah. I fucking I, I got there mad early too. I said, "What time are you gonna get there? I'll sync it up with you, so like you're good, and I'll go." Yeah. But it, like, it's weird. Uh, like when I saw you like run out on stage, I was like, "Yo, this is like the coolest moment yeah. of my life." And yeah. It's not even like like a my moment. No, yeah. Watching, that was the coolest thing it, for yeah. you to like give us that opportunity as well, because none of us we wouldn't fucking know T Pain if it wasn't for you. So that's yeah. like really cool. That's how it felt though too. I was like, I'm I'm really going out for my brothers, my family, my friends, and I didn't realize that. To me, I thought that, but then the DMs that I got of people just being like, "Yo, I'm crying," because yeah, they know. Yeah. I'm oh shit. No, it's all right. It's okay. Cause I, I know it's just like, it just fucking feels so dumb because I know it's not dumb, but it just, it's just, it has such a control. If you isolate yourself, you tell yourself like nothing's wrong and you don't think anything's wrong. 
But once you start stepping out, like the fact that you have to like gain an equilibrium back just because you sit on your ass all day or you yeah. lay down. And I'm not telling anybody that does that, get up and fucking David Goggins yourself. <laughs> well, but I, can't, like, I can't right now. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're in a situation. But it just felt, I really, it made me feel so good. Like Alex, one of my best friends, messaged me after. And it meant a lot to me, too, because of my relationship with Alex, which is like between me and him. But the way that he, how he felt <laughs> afterwards, like, because Alex has always been like a tougher coach, but I've always been, I've always loved him for it because he's older than me and I look up to him like a brother too, but he knows how I am and I've never done well with people being like, you got to do this, you should do this, you should do this. But really it's just, I know it's because him and everybody else want to just see someone they love do well. But Alex said, he goes, bro, I saw you on stage and I fucking, I never thought I could cheese for like another man that way. Yeah. He's like, I was smiling so fucking hard because He's like, I didn't know what you were going through, and I get it. I just wanted to see you push yourself. Like, I never meant to, you know what I mean? Like, and I and I knew what it meant for friends, like like, like my friends Jimmy to see me doing that, and for uh, just the, like I, you know, and I just people that really mom messaging me and just like your brothers are going to be there and all that, and it's just. I know it's not. I know I could say it to you because you guys get it, but it's just so wild. Like I know some people don't get it. And they'll probably be like, all you do is go to a fucking concert. And I'm, but bro, no, the, bigger than that. You would the way you get nervous when you go to see someone. I'm so proud of my like. I went in the bathroom at one point. I'm like, you're so fucking good, dude. <laughs> and I looked in the mirror and I was just like, you got like, because I was making the room laugh. I was crushing it. Yeah. Then Danny came. At one point, I'm like, all right, uh, I'm gonna let my my little bro do like just do his thing. Cause I, I did my thing. Like, I just wanted like three laughs that night to say I did something. Yeah. All right. And it was, it was 10 times that. And at the very end, I got the hug him. Jared's got an awesome picture of us talking. And I just, I just told him I'm, I'm, he was like, I'm proud of you, bro. He's like, and he just goes, you're my brother for real. And I, and I was just like, I fucking love you, dude. But then I had to tell him because he's been open about his own depression, like recently and the shit that he goes through and like, albums that he wants to do and he's been open about doing a last album and stuff and working on that and and i wanted to remind him too because it's like you know this guy goes through this but he pushes himself all the time and his wife is so fucking ride or die so cool so, cool. so yeah, ride or die cool. she's just back there getting his fucking towels and shit ready like when he comes back and like kissing him before he goes out and then i see like you know fucking it there's so many moments i sent that video to you like you and selena just by the brooklyn bridge like both just fucking not even looking at anything but him oh, and he's yeah. just in this fucking blue ass leather laffy yeah. taffy suit yeah. and yeah and jared just fucking just like dancing and drinking like that moment i have and i have the videos and the pictures like i was just absolutely yeah. cloud nine and now i'm and then after that i'm just like i gotta go do so, yeah some no shit. i mean yeah. you got you got really emotional there for a second. Yeah, because yeah. it's just fucking it really does mean a lot to me that people give a fuck and that people understand like, you know, I don't know. You always yeah. think like no one wants your you feel like a burden, you know, and I right. have been. I mean, I haven't seen my family. I haven't been able to go. To, I haven't been to events and for and all because I wasn't willing to push myself. And the one <laughs> and I've been telling people baby steps. And the first thing I do is I go on fucking stage. But that was a, and it is a baby step. I mean, honestly, like I was thrilled to go and see T Pain, but I knew how much you needed us to be there. Yeah. And I wanted to see you in that element. And I was like, you know, fingers crossed that I was like, Mike, I think Mike will get through it, but I was still concerned that we were gonna have to walk out of there. Dude, even people that I, I spoke to about going to the show before I went. Uh, I was telling them about how I was going to support you and they have some insight like because they know about me and they know about you guys. And dude, I was getting texts from mad people just like, yo, how's the show? And they were all just like, yo, how's Michael doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, dude, and I would send pictures of you in your element. And I was like, you fucking tell me how he's doing. He's, yeah, dude, Jared got a picture of me. I, at one point, one of my other favorite moments is like Jared got this. Jared was taking such fucking good pictures. Yeah, I this go, guy was fucking running around like Spike Lee. Yeah, he was, he was crushing like a, it. A fucking, I had to I add, needed to document it. <laughs> yeah, I, asked, I was like, like, "Are you okay?" He goes, yeah. I had yeah. like gimbal. Yeah, he had the gimbal, yeah. which was fucking awesome. That thing was sick. He yeah. had a gimbal. He was like going under yeah. things. I was like, "What's this guy doing?" Jared, at, like, at one point, there was this fog machine, but a fog machine on like level nine thousand. It yeah. just keeps shooting sh fucking steam out or whatever fog. And I was just like going up to it and just did like the uh, like Michael Jackson shit and like T-Pain's sister laughing and all this. And Jared just got like this really good picture of her laughing in the in the fog. And I'm just like going like this in black. And I it's you made it black and white, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. so good like that. Yeah. And just all the and dude, his family 
is so is so ch his mom. We met his yeah. fucking mom. Yeah, yeah. Mama Pain. She's <laughs> the best. Danny she and Jared were talking cool. to his mom for like an hour. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Yeah. She's mad cool. And the whole thing was cool. Yeah. It was, and uh, yeah, everyone was fantastic. Yeah. I don't think it was good that we inhaled that thing for about an hour. Though. No, I was in that fucking thing. Yeah, I think my throat be, still that, hurts. That can't be safe. If you really think about it, there's a couple of things that went on that night that like were perfect. The VIP room was perfect. It was huge. So big, yeah. yeah. So like, you know, and it was like easy to like chill and like <laughs> do like normal shit. Uh, and then the other thing uh, that was amazing about it too was everyone was there to have a good time and that's why we had a good time. Yeah. Yep. And the other amazing thing is I have to get into the ads. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. fuck. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into the ads. Our lovely sponsors. Our first sponsor of the day is BetterHelp. BetterHelp. BetterHelp is required, um, you know, this is this is what I want people to know about BetterHelp. The only thing that's required about BetterHelp is that you go in there with an open state of mind. You know, wanting to get yourself better. We talked about it a little bit on this show. You guys know I have a mental health podcast. The only thing that's really required is you want to take that step into becoming a better version of yourself. That's all we want to do. That's all we want for you, too, is to become a better version of yourself. Uh, this is what I really want you guys to understand also about BetterHelp. It's cheaper than going to the therapist's office, all right? That's another thing. Everyone's like, yeah, it's important, but I don't have the money. It's all about money. Everything's about money, you know? It's cheaper than going into a therapist's office. And newsflash, a lot of, a lot of therapy isn't covered by insurance, and a lot of therapy is hard to get into because everybody's in the therapist's office, so it's very hard to get in there. It's almost impossible to get an appointment. Uh, so this is the great thing about BetterHelp. You fill out a questionnaire, and it's very brief. It's just about you know your preferences, what you're dealing with, et cetera, et cetera. And they get you matched with somebody in less than 48 hours. In my case, I did it, and I was matched with somebody in like 20 hours. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I was matched with somebody, and guess what? The first person, I didn't really like them. And guess what? There's no charge if you if you don't link up with like the first like therapist, you know, and you're like, hey, I can't really link with this person that well. They're not really, you know, f they're joshing my vibes or something like that, you know. Don't josh my vibe. Don't josh my vibe, dude. Don't dude, kill my vibe. Definitely don't josh it. Don't dude. josh it ever. Don't ever josh my vibes. So, uh, you know, and the, the guys joshing you, you can go to somebody else like that and it's no extra charge to do it either um the great thing is too it's very private if you don't want to be on camera you don't have to be you could be telehealth you can facetime with the person you can do it however you want to do it there's messaging you can do whatever you got to do to get through that's that's kind of what i'm doing whatever you got to do to get through that's my big thing nowadays uh so if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule just fill out a brief questionnaire like i said get matched with a licensed therapist and again, you could switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash LOPS today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash LOPS, L-O-P-S, to get 10% off your first month. Shout out to BetterHelp for, you know, being down with the squad for so long. And today we have a new sponsor Ooh. it's Ooh. our friends over at mint mobile after years oh, of fine yeah. print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers if we've learned anything is that there's always a catch so when i first heard that mint mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 dollars a month i said what's the catch fifteen dollars what are you talking about but after talking to them and using their service it all makes sense now. I am running this phone. What I'm reading off of is a Mint Mobile phone right now, uh, and that's what I had to do. I was like, listen, I got to see it to believe it. So I put uh, Mint Mobile on my phone. I'm using it right now. And guess what about the catch? Remember I was talking about the catch? There isn't one. Mo uh, Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell their wireless service, uh, services only online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly on to you, baby. Let's just say what I was paying before, a lot more. Uh, I was paying about $111 a month for my phone. Crazy. I'm about the same. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? So Mint Mobile... Uh, you know, they sent me out a SIM card. Was able to, you know, get this thing uh, percolating. And guess what? I'm not paying that much anymore. So shout out to my friends over at Mint Mobile. Fuck yeah. Uh, for anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. 
Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint, families start at two lines. So guess what? You don't have to have a big old shindig family. It's say me and Michael get married. You know what I'm saying? And it's just us. Or we just live together and we're just a family. Guess what? We started too because yeah, two Mint people Mobile. make a family. Um Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. That was a big thing for me. I have an amazing area code. I'm not going to say it out loud, but you guys know my my area code. It's fire. And I never want to get rid of it ever. So I had to save my... And they were like, don't worry about it. We'll save your area code. You'll amazing. still be able to flex. Um, I have a 212 area code. But... Um, some dude actually offered me like $4,000 to buy my cell phone uh, number once. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to my mobile. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash lops. That's mintmobile.com slash lops. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month. Damn. That's outrageous. There's shit at Starbucks that costs more than that. Yeah, All right. Like, like everything. All right. Go to mintmobile.com slash lops. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash lops. L O P S. All right. And you guys. Uh, and man, fuck Sprint. Get with Mint. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about um, while I was taking a shit. Sorry. Thanks for holding down the floor. But good. what I was going to say is there's this new like TikTok thing that's going around. Where it's a human pretends to be AI. Right. So, like, you'll pretend to be, like, an AI person. Like, you know, like, if you're in a video game waiting screen, they're, like, waiting to, like, click X, like, character select. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, and they're, like, doing this. And on TikTok, like, you can gift, like, cowboy hats and hot dogs and peppers and cake and all kinds of stuff. Right. So, they'll literally stand there and be, like, cake, yum. What the fuck? Tacos, yummy. I don't get it. What? That's and so yeah, weird. And, and they'll be like, oh, sprinkles. What the fuck is that? Yeah, and they'll be like, oh, and for some reason, this girl does it. Her name's Pinky Doll. Is that the really pale chick no, that no, I saw? No, no, no. She's black. She's like a black chick from like ah. France or some shit. Right. And she gets like a hair straightener and puts like a popcorn kernel oh, in it. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. And like waits for it to like pop, but like people can give her TikTok gifts. Yeah. So they're like tipping her money and she'll just be like, she's like, gang, gang, rar, rar, gang, gang, rar, rar. Yeah. Ooh, spicy, spicy, Dude, spicy. It, she says the most random shit. What the fuck? Yeah. And then like, she'll be like, popcorn up. Uh. Yeah. And, she'll and like, then popcorn. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's like I yums, said, I, I, I told yums. everyone I showed on my stream. I saw that. I was like, this is what my Tourette's is. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I was like, this is going to be Mike's favorite trend. Yeah. So Mike's going to start doing this and make a fucking bajillion dollars. Yeah. She's like, oh, fuck cheese. Yeah, she's like, mm, fuck cheese. Mm, and she pops, she pops kernels on the hair straightener while doing it. We should do it with just gay noises. Yeah. I would love to do I just, <laughs> right? I'll do anything. I don't know. I just think that it's fucking so weird that this is like, you, they make shit ton of money doing this. She you know? makes like 4K stream. Jesus. Yeah, bro. Just, just going, mm, nice. Yeah. Ooh. Pirate. She, at one time, she was like, pirate pussy or like something weird. Said something weird. Yeah. And then it's just her holding the straightener. And I'm like, who the fuck is paying for this? Like weird old white dudes, I think. Yeah, probably. I don't know what. Or it internet is, weirdos. Chinese people, I think. It's TikTok. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I feel like Chinese people love that type of shit. Yeah, but is that the big, isn't there Chinese TikTok or is it everyone on one thing? I feel like Chinese kid watch Americanese. Right? You can you can you do that? Yeah, I think you can cross knees. Because I don't know how it goes. I don't know how it works. Cross knees. Yeah. <laughs> cross knees. <laughs> yeah, I think you can cross knees up. What the fuck? That's just so like God. Think that, about how far we've come to not come anywhere. What are we doing? Yeah, we're just going backwards. Or or are we just dumb? Or are we just like purists that are stupid? I'm telling. If one of us got on there and we were just like tacos, ah. Uh, like we'd be huge. I don't know. I'd probably yeah. I'd watch that. That's hilarious. Yeah, that'd be bad funny. I would watch that if a guy. Was I just feel like, like also because cowboy like, hat. Oh. I feel like also just because it's <laughs> like it's I, you're already known, and if you just did, but you, but they don't say anything else. No, people are gonna be like, yo, Danny. So like. What's your next like move with your life? Like when's your next show? And you just don't answer anyone. You just go cowboy piss and like uh, so weird. They'd be like, why isn't he talking to us? Well, is, I mean, is he like a clone? What the fuck happened to she's him? She's not hard to look at either. She's yeah, like she's a, a nice looking girl. She's like a busty, light skinned, beautiful girl, yeah. like yeah. with like long blonde hair. She's she's definitely not hard to look at. Yeah, 
Play it. You're hard when you Is there a video? It. There's thousands of them. All right, play one. Just put your mic towards it. Nah, mm-hmm. fuck it. Why not? Yum. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking. It, it, I don't think she's American, though. I think she's like. It's French. NPC inspired, but how? What NPC? Do, I, don't, I don't understand. Because NPCs are lifeless, like non playable characters. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't, I don't get why they're NPCs, though. It's like, I guess if you like feed an NPC in a video game, and they're what? like, thanks. <laughs> Yo, honestly. Yeah, listen to this. Jesus Christ. Yo, that's, that's isn't like it weird? weird shit. So she's so trying so so she's acting weird and doing saying all that because she's trying to act like an NPC. Yeah. And she's trying to talk like a fucking robot or something. Yeah. But it's just so Yes, yes. I oh, couldn't watch sweet, that. Sweet Tang. What sweet the fuck tang. did she say She before? needs to fucking so when, let me NPC them titties. She, That's what she's got yeah, to do. Yeah, she's, she's got big old knocks. Yeah, she does. What? What is she like the originator of this? <laughs> that's not staying show? in. No, that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> Selena sees that part. No, no. It's just, uh, she's got big fat titties, dude. <laughs> 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 that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's how Danny goes home. Selena's like, I heard. And Danny just goes, what do you want me to do? She's got big fat tits. She's got big fat chocolate knocks, dude. What do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, what's her name? Pinky doll Pinky real? Doll. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look at those views, Jared. 1.2 million. Yeah. 3 million. 56,000 here. That's low. Dude, we can't even get We can't even get 10,000. We can't even get 10,000. This fucking bitch is going, yes, 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 yes. Well, she's not. Yeah, she's definitely cute. She looks like a like a little Nicki Minaj kind of looking chick. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. So that doesn't that doesn't hurt, and she's got the wagon too. Wagon for all white people out there means fat ass. Yeah. God, imagine uh, you're in the other room and she's doing that, but you you're oh you God. hate it, but you know she's making so much more money than you, and you suck. I'll be honest with you, I'd rather I'd rather my wife do that than OnlyFans. Yeah. Can you imagine if Selena was doing that and just bringing home mad bread though? I, I would fucking love that. If like Selena, you got, if, you I, got, if I went home tonight and Selena was going, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like Danny sleeping <laughs> at late at night and he just hears like in the distance like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Danny's like fucking losing his that mind. That would be awesome. I like that. Hello, Alex. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> fire, fire. Oh, yeah, fire, that was fire, funny too. Gang, yeah, the fire, gang, fire, fire. Gang, gang. Yeah, Selena was just fucking... Popping popcorn kernels and her hair straightener. I yeah. would love that, dude. You all right, Danny? I'm not stopping this episode, by the way, until Danny tells the story about where he went to have dinner with Selena if he wants to. Uh, oh recently. my god! <laughs> if yeah, you want right. to, yeah. No, I'll tell. I'll tell the story, okay. and then we'll wrap it up after the story. Okay. So <laughs> Selena and I. This. So Selena and I, since we've gotten married, we decided, hey, listen, let's go on a date every week. Right. Yeah. That's good. That's cool. Smart yeah. Move. You know, we'll go out to dinner somewhere every week, and we'll, you know, just to like have something to do for ourselves. She works, I work sometimes, and like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. So like you know, we have to have time for each other. And then also, we record on Sunday, yeah. So that's like another night we don't hang out, right? So we try to have those moments for each other. So. Selena came up with this idea to go to this place called um, Surfside in Jersey City. I'm only saying the name because it was the experience, and I'm going to tell you why. So she's like, hey, listen, let's go to Surfside. Me, I'm like, uh, I'm looking at it. I'm like, you know what? Let's just go. It's on the water. It's kind of like a beachy vibe, but it's on like the Hudson River. You know what I mean? It's right. not like, yeah. Know. So we get there. So we're like, all right, we got this date night or whatever. Let's go to this place. She picks a place called Surfside. We walk there. We walk in and we're like, oh, this is like kind of cute. We get in the back. There's like 450 Indian people there. Yeah. But like all dressed up. I'm right. like, yo, is this like, a, are they having like a party or something? Like what's going on? Like is, I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, is this a holiday? It was like 400 people in the place and they were all Indian. Right. So I was very thrown off by that. Not because they were Indian, but just like, what's going on? I was right. like, are, are, we, are we encroaching on something? I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, are we even supposed to be here? Yeah. So there's another area. There's a peer seating area. So we're sitting there. Uh, we get seated. And 
there's big ass boat comes by. Yeah. Like this big ass fucking huge like uh <laughs> like a like a ferry but bigger. Yeah. Like a, like a bigger ferry. Fucking yeah. thing was huge. Yeah. And I turn around, I see all the Indian people are like lining up now. So I'm like, now it's making sense to me. Like, oh, okay. Like all these Indian people are like waiting. They're pre-gaming here and then getting on this thing to get there. So now Selena and I are sitting right next to where they're all lining up on the pier. And just imagine a straight line of 400 Indian people, like single file all the way down. This shit is mad far. Wait, waiting to get on the boat. Yeah, because if they all go on the pier, it'll break. So they have to go like one by one. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, this is like kind of weird looking. I was like, it looks like they're just like deporting all these Indian people. It looks mad strange. Yeah. Like, where are they going? Where are they going? So like all these Indian people are lining up. Uh, We're looking. So Selena and I were kind of looking around like, yeah, like it's kind of weird. Like, what the hell is going on? So as we're looking down at our menus or like whatever, let's just order some food. We go to order some food and I look up and some fucking Indian dude. Just like. Some fucking Selena's right here and some fucking Indian dudes just standing like this. Just like <laughs> dick right in her face. Yeah, Dan said the Selena's just like this. <laughs> and he's looking like at the schooner or whatever the fuck it is. And he's just standing like this. Right. So I'm like, all right, like whatever. He's kind of old. I'm like letting yeah. him kind of get away with it for a second. He stops going. And then another Indian guy comes up and the boat, say the boat is literally... Directly behind Michael. Yeah. It's directly behind Michael. Selena's sitting right here, and yeah. this Indian guy is, like, all into the boat, like, wants to look at the boat. He walks up and goes like this. He goes, oh, on, my God. On, like, on her, yeah. What? Staring <laughs> over my fucking wife, putting his fucking cock in my wife's face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. What are you doing, sir? I was like, sir. And he was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, backed up real quick. And they yeah. thought you were part of it because you look Indian. Yeah, so they, they were. Thought yeah, they thought I was one of them. Yeah. So I was just like, yo, like, yo, what are you doing, bro? Yo, this dude put his cock like three, four inches away from my wife's face. Yeah. Dude. And Dan Danny just kept saying, he's yeah. like, I, this, he just wouldn't stop looking at the boat. They were like, like they've never seen a boat before. It was so strange. Did I was they, like, well, did, they love these boats. Did they get on it? Yeah, they all got on it. They all left. Yeah. But, but not the guy with his dick in Selena's face. He was just staring at it. Yeah, he was just staring at the boat. And then there was another guy there, too, that was staring at it also. Yeah, he was just using that boat as an excuse yeah. to put his dick in Selena's yeah. face. Selena had two cocks that weren't mine within a three-inch radius of her mouth in about five seconds, <laughs> which was crazy. Yeah, I was like, yo, this is crazy. And it gets worse. We order food. We order two cold lobster rolls. Yeah. Okay. Two cold lobster rolls. Cold. Guess how long it took us to get these? How long? An hour and 40 minutes. Are you serious? An hour and 40 minutes and you for know our fucking lobster rolls to come out, dude. And Jesus. And Jared, Jared fucking knows the restaurant. I mean, Jared, I mean, it, you could just take, we just know going out, period, as, as, as customers, but Jared yeah. fucking knows, like, yo, so we're looking around. Two hours? So there's another family there that's been waiting for mad long. As a waitress, right? What's the longest as a waiter? What's the longest before you go and check back on a table? On a table? Yeah. Um. Well, I I do like a, I do like a standard touch the table twice on each course. So if you're three courses, right, and you're thirty minutes on each course, maybe yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. Within that thirty minutes of each course, I'll come over and be like. Tell you guys what's hitting the table and then come back and be like, guys, how you doing so far? And then the third touch would be like, guys, I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. Make space for this other course. Right. So I would say maybe every 15 minutes because you don't want to intrude. Right. Yeah. But I, I I, will go back to the kitchen and wonder, start looking for food at the 12 or 13 minute mark. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. This bitch didn't look for fucking shit. <laughs> I was, yo, we were there. Yo, I had to get up in the middle of the, of the thing to go get our own drinks. We got our drinks in the beginning. We had two drinks, and then we ordered. An hour and 40 minutes went by before we the food even touched our table. Jesus. Yeah. So the waitress comes back. Oh, this it gets even worse. Another couple comes in, right? 40 minutes after us, they sit down, they order their food. They get it right away. Five minutes. <laughs> I said, yo, this is going to be a fucking joke. Yeah. This is a joke. Right. 
the waitress comes over and goes, hey, sorry, our Wi-Fi was down. We weren't able to get your orders in. I said, ma'am, yeah. I understand if there's like a technical error, but I haven't seen you in an hour and 40 minutes. Where have you been? Yeah, you haven't yeah. even updated us. Where have you been? Yeah, why you haven't you come back and touch? touch, yeah, touch Where are my table? cold lobster rolls? <laughs> yeah. A cold lobster roll. I should have been out here an hour ago. Yeah. Right. Yo, it was the worst dining I've ever experience i've ever had surf city yeah. uh surfside whatever it is in, in jersey city and the funniest things are the I, worst funny the worst fucking dining experience of my entire it's life it's so funny i'm on the phone danny says it like that and i go how's the food and danny goes it's pretty good yeah <laughs> well, the food was awesome yeah, yeah. the food was really yeah. good so yeah. that was the only thing that saved me from like not leaving a one-star yelp it, review it was just funny how danny said i go yeah but how's the food danny goes it's pretty good. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> this, there's this rule of thumb kind of that in the in the industry is that one minute feels like five minutes to a guest. Yeah, yeah. So that Hell yeah. felt like you were there for a week. Yeah, yo, I felt like we like uh, we honestly were like getting a fucking prank pulled. Well, on there is a there is a point where you sit there for so long and you just actually start feeling fucking stupid. Yeah, because well, you're like, yeah, what are we the doing? Fuck, did you wait that long? I would have got up and be like, miss, cancel the order. We're but, good. That's dude. a perfect point. <laughs> I did feel stupid. Right yeah. at one point, you're like, I'm with my woman. I felt I'm like a, a fucking dumbass. Yeah. It was supposed to be like a nice night because we're trying to do like a week. We're trying to do a date night every week, and yeah, we go there, got, and it takes two fucking yeah. hours. For you got you got sunned out, sunned out by two dudes putting their dicks. in your <laughs> yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> least manly dudes night. went and ate your lobster rolls. <laughs> no, first of all, the dinner the dinner cost a hundred bucks. <clears throat> the dinner cost a hundred bucks. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I basically paid a hundred bucks to eat two hours later than I wanted to and for two guys to put their dick in my wife's yeah. face. Yeah. Not a good deal. Selena yeah. got a good deal. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, she made off good. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so funny if you're going home. She's like, babe, come on. It's not that serious. You're like, yeah, well, speak for yourself. You yeah. had two dicks in your face. Yeah, you had yeah, a good right? night. You well, had a good night. Yeah. Nobody, put their, <laughs> nobody put their tits in my face. I was so mad, bro. Uh, it was to the point where I, I almost left a one-star Yelp review and I've never left a Yelp, Yelp or Google. I've never left a Google review or a Yelp review. Yeah. This will be my Google or, or Yelp review. I never do. You your gotta, fucking you, place sucks dick. <laughs> thank God your food. Thank God your food is good. Yeah. Thank God your food is good. Service is your service is fucking horrendous. I'll never come back there. You want to know? It's a cute place for like if you're going to go and have a drink with somebody or something. Yeah. But that, I don't do that. Yeah. That's so what you were like, saying. Yeah. I was like, uh, this is that was single handedly the worst dining experience of my entire Jeez, life. Geez. It was the worst. Surf and city, surf's up. Yeah, I, I left. I left her a four dollar tip. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I, well, poor I, service. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, poor that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yes. She doesn't have any control over the fucking Wi-Fi crashing. That's a manager shit. You know what I mean? And right. tech issue. But you have to come back and just be like, guys, Update. Not to mention, you verbal the fucking order. Just write it down and go to the kitchen and be like, guys, this is what we have to put in. It's like, yeah. Oh, saying, yeah. And then the worst part, this fucking bitch comes over and goes, she goes, hey, guys, sorry about that. It's going to be five minutes. 25 minutes later, the food comes out. Yeah. 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 Don't say a time if Bro, that's not at the time. Uh, yo, I was so close to just throwing this woman onto the Indian ship. I was like, yo, I'm <laughs> just going to toss this woman over this goddamn fucking thing, man. And the other guy was a way bigger dick than me. He was just like, yeah, like. Um, oh, the other cost. The other he was here. like, just go get it. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the food and no, like you can't be rude to him, but you can be honest and be like, "Well, that's what bro, Danny if you was were, saying." If you were waiting for two hours, I, I'm not that type of person. Yeah. I would never just be like, "Yo, just go get my food." Yeah. Right. At, at the, but that's at, wild, at son. The at the 20 minute mark, 30 minute mark, I'm asking them like, "Hey, listen, can I talk yeah. to one of your managers real quick?" At an hour, you're leaving, yeah. and I'll be like, "Look, I know it's not your server's fault. I just wanted to talk to you about it because they obviously are probably running around talking to every other table that's waiting." But can you do me a favor? Go back to the kitchen and get this food for us. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, please, either that or let us know and we'll cancel the order and we're yeah. good. You know what I mean? Like, just we'll pay for the drinks. We'll get out of here. How have you always handled if like, someone's rude as fuck to you? How have you always handled it? Um, I well, if I was a manager, I kind of had to just deal with it with myself. But if I was in service, then I would just be like, uh, I'd, I'd probably get I'd get a manager to deal with it. The, right. Because the you matter is, is like, well. I don't want to get into an argument with a guest and people can be rude and I can, but I'm, I would clearly say to somebody like openly, like, listen, calm down a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, I know you're upset. Obviously yeah. you have every reason to be that way, but, but you can't talk to me like that, but I don't even leave that. I leave that for my manager. Yeah. I'll be like, you know what, my friend, give me a moment and then I'll go back yeah. and get my manager and I'll, I'll just go back. I'll be like, this fucking guy's got to go. I mean, you know some people like, do take it a little, a little wild. Like they do get really yeah. fucking mean and you're just like, dude, 
Yeah, relax. There's so much more to life right now, and you're freak. I know you're here for dinner. You should definitely be pissed, but don't speak to me like I'm a fucking but dog. But only get to that point if you don't go back to the table and say, hey, guys, I know you've been waiting a really long time. Yeah. Tell me what you'd like for me to do. Can you get, can you get us some chips? Can you send us another round of drinks? Can you... Yeah, this bitch didn't even do that, yeah, bro. I, it's not that I want free stuff. As long as you touch the table, because in most cases, guests are just like... Oh, thank you for letting us know. You yeah, know what I mean? like, yeah. We, give me something. We were starting to wonder what was taking long, and and you can't blame it on the kitchen. You can't. You know what I mean. You kind of have to take it on the head. And I think in most cases, I just tell them like, look, I, I I completely understand. If you guys want me to cancel the order, I will. But if you bear with me, I might have another ten or fifteen minutes to go. You know, and they'll be like, okay, I'll bring them some bread. I'll do this. I'll do that. Right. But you got to get other people involved because if they're already pissed at you, they don't want to talk to anybody. Else. I was gonna die in a dash. Right? Oh, they do want to talk. Yeah, to you. yeah, I was gonna die in a dash. I remember just uh, it's like, yo, let's just fucking leave. Yeah, let's just eat this and fucking walk away. And just yeah. get out of here. Let's just leave. Yeah. And Selena we'll almost did, S- Selena almost did it. Yeah, and she was like, no, nah, we can't do that. I was like, you want to know something? We can do that. I think after, if you have to wait anything more than an hour, the food should be free everywhere. I mean, an hour and 40, two hours, that's two hours. Two hours. You can say hour 45 all you want, that's two hours. Yeah, and it's not like she came over and was like, hey, do you guys want more drinks? I don't know what's going on with the computer. Yeah. I didn't see this bitch for two hours. It's also not, it's also not an uncommon thing for people people that work there. There's, it's not an uncommon thing. We talked about it. We talked about it. I walked and got drinks every single time myself. Yeah. I walked into the bar and did it. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Was the place crowded? But, no, it was crowded at first, the 400 Indians, yeah. but then they all got on the boat and left. Yeah. It's not like the Indians were ordering anymore. They all what? They all went away. They all went sightseeing. I don't know where they went. They were all dressed up nice. They had beautiful Indian garb on, regalia, and all that beautiful fu- shit. And, uh, you know, I just feel like, listen, anything over an hour, the meal should be free, and I'm going to die on that hill. I don't care what anybody says. If I'm in there and I'm waiting to eat food at your establishment and you don't fucking feed me within an hour, yeah. how dare you? Yeah. Shame on you. Right. Second of all, you're lucky I don't leave one-star reviews. If I leave one-star reviews, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big deal for any restaurant, a yeah. one-star no, review. It is. It is. You don't want that. No, you don't. You don't want that. And I didn't do that, but I did it here today. Yeah, fuck it. So if Maybe anyone in Jersey City knows anybody at Surfside, dare you? I dare you. I dare you to call shenanigans on what I say. <laughs> I dare you to call shenanigans because I was there and it was the worst dining experience of my life and we weren't even offered a free drink. How no, dare you? Fuck you. How dare you? This is America. Yeah. This is America. Okay. I just got a Tinder notification. I haven't been on Tinder in like five oh, years. Did you see up. that? Let's see what you got. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck this guy. Ca- I, I don't use Tinder. Is it Indian girl? If it was an Indian girl, that'd be so fire. <laughs> it's just her on that boat. You just see me fucking pissed off in the yeah. background. Yeah, Tinder yeah, photo. Just pissed, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, God. I don't even use this thing. What is their logo anyway? Is it like a fire? I always thought it was a fire droplet. Was that her? I don't, no, it's never them. It's never the See? Uh, it's never, like, now yeah. if I swipe this, it'll be like, that's yeah. the one that liked you. No. And it's someone that it. looks like fucking Jack. Yeah. Don't have you? It. Yeah, you. No offense. Perfect. No yeah. offense. No but it's offense. just like I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, come on. We all have we all have our yeses and our nos and what we're into. I feel like you know dude, dudes are way easier to catfish because like they'll just they'll fuck anyway. Because we're all desperate. Yeah. 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 Like Catholic. even if it's not you, but it's like she's down the fuck. I feel like a dude but is gonna do it's it. So wild mm-hmm. to me that people know that's a terrible thing to do, but they still do it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, online dating scary, bro. It is. Online dating scary. You can just another person shows up, they fucking kill you, dude. Yeah. Who was the football kid that got completely got? Oh, Manti Teo. Yeah. God, yeah. when you watch that documentary, it's borderline. Like, it's it's like frightening. I love when people that do stuff like that, they'll just be like, you know, like, my mom has cancer. I'm like, I don't, I honestly yeah, don't I, give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, you're I an don't asshole. give a fucking shit. You're a lying yeah. asshole. Yeah, yeah, your mom could have a decrepit asshole yeah. like me. Cause yeah, because yeah, you're raising an asshole kid anyway. Yeah. yeah. You're going to say, I just, you know, I was so lonely. Like my, my daddy, no, had, you don't, my daddy was sick no. and my mommy had no. cancer. If that was the I'd case, like, Yo, if, fuck you. If, and that was sick the, mom. if that was the case, everyone with <laughs> mental health issues would have, you completely get off free for a crime. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dude, I'd be lying. A bank every day. 
I'd be robbing him every day. Just be like, my dad didn't tell me he loved me until I was 27. Yeah. yeah. Also, the trauma that <laughs> the trauma that dude has, like even part of the documentary, he's like, I'm good. Like everything's good. It's like, no, I don't think any. I don't think he is, bro. Not only did the guy do that, he fucking killed off the character. Yeah. So now this guy thinks that his girlfriend's dead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he goes on national television. Right after his grandma died? Right after his gra- his real grandma died. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then this guy goes on national television, and now it's a story that Manti Teo's girlfriend dies the yeah. night before, like, the Rose Bowl. Right. And then they win. Yeah. And, and he's crying go- in an interview right. about his dead catfish girlfriend. Right. Crazy. What the fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That dude, you should go to jail for that shit. That dude was just trying to fucking fix the odds on the game. Probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's like, yo, let's get in his head. I hate that. About, <laughs> I, yeah, it's true. I, I hate that about catfish, though. Every time I'm just like, you know, like, just like not a lot of people love me. I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't give a fuck. No, nah, nothing. Nothing warrants putting on a fucking play. Bro. You know, and then people are like, well, like you did it. I'm like, yeah, because I'm taking this person at face value saying that they're a real person. Yeah. You've we've all probably sent pictures of our penises to dudes. Oh man! I hope yeah, I never did that online. I never did it online. The only time dick pics went out from me were were on the phone. I never, I never did it online. Yeah, I wish. I don't know. I wish I could say that. When I was a kid, I was wild. Yeah, no, not me. Yeah, because it's just an open world at your hands, yeah, your dude. fingertips. Yeah, yeah, dude. Then it's just like, hey, you want to see my wiener? You're like, okay, okay, sure. Send my wiener. Nah, he's good. He's good. You know, like that's the kind of, that's the crazy thing. Imagine you pull up on somebody that someone that like you said that you've loved on the internet because you're having a hard time finding love too. And yeah. then you pull up and it's a dude. Yeah. I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, dude. People get killed like that. Yeah. I mean, it could have gotten so much worse. It's, I mean, Watching the documentary, it's not that. There's like, there's a darkness about that documentary. It's yeah, really bro. I, weird. I, I didn't feel bad for that guy at all whatsoever. The guy that did that to Manti Teo. No, I no. felt bad for Manti. I mean, after. I did for him too. He seemed a little off. Like you know, it just seemed like he could, I don't know, like a little he, traumatized. Well, he right? definitely slipped in the draft because of it too. Like it was yeah. a weird thing. Yeah, you know. And I, I, knew, I know a couple of people that actually played on that team with him. Yeah, and they said it was really fucking weird. Yeah, it was yeah, a mess. yeah. It was a very it strange. Because no one knew what was going on at first, and they thought he was a part of it. Yeah, yeah. They and thought he was in I, on it because it makes because it makes. I mean, it would if someone said that he was, I'd be I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, unless he paid this guy now. Ooh, that was a good one. Unless they paid now for this guy <laughs> to live. That was a good one. <laughs> unless they paid now for this guy to like. To, I don't. I don't think he's. I think some people still think he was like a part of it. Well, that's what I remember being like. Yo, this dude like killed his girlfriend or some shit. There was yeah. like some investigation that they thought he was the one that that was like had done it. Oh no! But speaking of investigations, they caught that Gilgo Beach killer, bro. They did. Yeah. So you know the Gilgo Four. No. So look up the Gilgo Four, right? So there's been these string of murders that have happened uh, in Long Island, like in the Massapequa area. Yeah. Was it King Von? Since like 2007, these sex workers have been disappearing, and they found like 11 bodies. Oh, I remember this documentary. 11 bodies. They caught the guy like two days ago. And he was uh, he was targeting... He would target sex workers. He would call them from burner phones... And meet up with them and then kill them and put them in like camouflage burlap sacks. Yeah, throw them in the bushes. And throw them in the bushes. Yeah. And he would use like a, like duck hider, like uh, blinds and shit to like hide their bodies. Yeah, crazy. He's like a six foot four, like 300 pound ogre man. Oh, shit. So he was just like. Yeah, yeah. he was a big, he's a big dude. His name was Rex Huberman. He's a H- fucking. Huberman. Huber, Huberman. Yeah. He's a fucking. Um, He's like a, he works in New York City. He's like a contractor or something. Jesus. Three women. That they have. You know how they caught him? You know how they caught him? They waited for him to throw pizza out. He threw a slice of pizza uh, with the crust. He threw it out into the garbage and, co- and feds were following him. And they got the DNA from the pizza crust, and it matched the DNA on three of the bodies. God, the only time, the only time, the only time fucking pizza will be the worst thing in your life yo but think about how crazy that is you know people could be like people following you this guy had no idea he was being followed crazy dude that's nuts this dude killed how they know how they not even like 
follow him though. So they had um they had a description on the car. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh and the description matched his car. Oh shit. Uh and he lives in the area and apparently like even in the house that he lives in in his neighborhood like his house is like the most run down. He like lives with his like his wife, but his wife is from Finland. Right. And okay. every summer she would go away to Finland. Yeah. And while she was away, he would do he would that. He would kill. He would kill sex workers. Yeah, he's Fucking a big dude. Weird. Yeah, now. dude. He's big. Because he's standing next to these other guys in the, in this photo, and he is towering over these. Yeah. Guys. They just caught him now. They just caught him like three days ago. Wow. They 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 ran up on him in the city. He was like walking down. Uh, he was walking down the street, and they all pulled up on him. What was he dude. leaving behind? Jesus. Uh, I'm sure there was some kind of jizz. Or but, like what they nails, f- something like that. They found the yeah, hair. The hair is what caught him. Right. The hair was, the, was right. the DNA that caught him. And then he had... Uh, what a piece of shit. Yeah, dude. How's he getting... And they found did, like a belt that said like HM on it, like Hewer Man. Uh, yeah. When did they... Uh, what, uh, ye- what year did he start, do they think? Like 2007. 2013, no, no. it says? I think it's 2013. I thought it was maybe even before. Those are the only ones that he's linked to, but there's like uh, 11 bodies, bro. What a fucking weirdo. And he looks like a like a just a fucking like accountant guy or something. That's like what he is. Yo, he has an interview. He's an architect. He, yeah, he's an architect. The craziest thing is is these guys always somehow have some like weird interview. He did some interview about like architecture yeah. like 3 years ago. And it's on. You can like. It's and like you can watch it. That's, that's oh, it's crazy. And it's like the most watched. This guy has like four thousand subs. The, the video has like three million views because <laughs> everyone's just watching this guy talk about like what he did for well, a living. That's, and, yeah, that's why a lot of serial killers they they do that shit to publicize themselves to like mock the world. Like, hey, just so you know, I'm, I'm out the, here. I'm the guy that you were looking for all this time. God, you know, ne- Netflix doing is, this for fucking ten years. We got. We should beat Netflix to the strike and make our own like documentary about it and put it out. Because I don't want to get anywhere near this dude. This dude looks like he could kill all three of us. <laughs> this guy's a fucking yeah, he's load. A, he's a big motherfucker. Six four, like three hundred pounds. He's he looks what was he than was he four. was yeah. he choking strangling them or something or yeah he would strangle them and then fucking dump their bodies and burlap camouflage burlap sacks. Yeah. Why why was what the fuck? They just tore his house up and all that shit. Like did, they they went, find, they, did they find anything there? Nothing came out yet, but uh, he has like four charges, um, oh like kidnapping, God. murder, and some other shit. What a fucking nut! And he was younger back when he was doing this too. You know, you yeah. Know. But a, oh, but recently, like two years ago, some girl was riding her bike, and she saw like something like nestling around in the woods or whatever. Yeah, and he like came out of the woods, like just walked out of the woods and was like, "Hey, do you have the time?" Yeah. What the fuck? And, and she was like, "Yeah, it's this time." And then he was like, saw like a picture of the girl's like boyfriend on her phone, and was like talking to her like like about like mad weird shit. Yeah. Just like w- like if someone comes out of the woods and has a conversation with you, it's a little yeah. weird. Don't have it. Yeah. Don't have it. Yeah. And like it's a big ass, huge fucking Peter Griffin Shrek looking motherfucker, bro. And he just like comes out. They 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 described him as ogre esque, like he's an ogre. That's yeah. to say the least. Yeah. 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 And, uh, oh shit! Hold on. The series of murders between '96 and 2011. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this dude was killing people for fucking like 18, 30 years almost. 18 people. 18 people. 18 murders. Yeah. Where the fuck is Gilgo? Is that near like Fire Island or some shit? It's near Massapequa. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And all these bodies were found like within like the same two mile radius. Right, so that's why they were like, okay, yeah. we have this dude's got to be nearby. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna tell me that's all a coincidence? Like right. somebody else threw the bodies right there? And I don't think a lot of these guys, these dudes that or these people that do this shit, they don't realize their own patterns. It's 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 like if you watched yourself get up and do something in your house every day that you don't realize you're doing, they're just doing it and not thinking about it. Obviously, there's some killers that. They went from different state states or cities even or would like tra- like didn't Ted Bundy went all over the place, didn't he? Wasn't he in like different yeah. fucking states and yeah. shit like yeah, that? Yeah, he would bounce around. What's his face was like that too? The jinx guy? Yeah. He yeah. bounced around. Yeah. And uh I think who's like the most the mo- Zodiac's the only one that's like I think they caught him recently. Like they they revealed him. Right. I know people were saying that they think that they it was probably most like but yeah. they but they can't tell, right? Because but Zodiac is probably the illest. Like most popular one that got away with it. Yeah, if he was a rapper, he'd be like the the illest rapper yeah, of all time. Oh, oh yeah, he would be the goat like serial killer. 
Yeah. God. I, I'll tell cool. you right now, scary movies, like I can watch scary movies late at night. The most terrifying things, Chucky, whatever it is, won't do anything to me. True crime stories have me fucking locking what? up my butthole. Yeah. Hell yeah. Every three locks on my fucking yeah. door, Checking my fucking windows. windows. Yeah. Like, Bro, I'm going to make you guys watch me get in the car after this because now I'm scared. Yeah, now I'm scared. <laughs> it's always different because it reminds you because the part that gets you is that it's fucking real. Yeah. And it's and it's in like an area where you feel like you can walk around and not have to worry about that, bro. Mass yeah, Massapequa, th- Long Island is mad close to here, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah. what, like an hour and a half away. Dude, well, fucking, fucking son of Sam, son of right Sam down shit down right there. Yeah, which, dude. which this that's guy was crazy. Shooting people's fucking. That's heads crazy off. too, because the son of Sam thing, son of Sam thing. I never really thought about. I always just thought it was him. He was nuts, whatever. And then that shit that that special that came out on Netflix with the detective that was just like wasting his own life away trying to yeah, get this guy him, yeah. and finding out that I mean it makes sense too. There's probably like six of them. There was a woman that was like, dude, there's no way he could have did that because I was around. She was like, I was fucking right there and I saw him at the car. There's no way he got to his car when I came around. It was like this old woman too. She's like, there's no fucking way that he must have had help or something like that. But then the connections and stuff that they found with him connected to that cult. Yeah. That was going. Yeah, all they would sacrifice now. animals, animals. Like right over here yeah. on fucking yeah. Warburg. And then that one guy that they found dead in that state, and they were like, "This isn't suicide." How he how he died? Yeah. So I was I, this just watching. Is, this is what's going to be crazy though. Is is the guy? They already have him in a turtle suit. The only thing that would be crazier is that he's not the only guy that was doing this. Right. Oh, here, someone maybe, helping him? Like maybe he had a fucking little click of like sex worker murderer boys. <laughs> well, it happens. George George Kuklinski. It was so weird. He just found that ice cream guy that was like into doing weird shit too. Yeah. And then he had to kill him, the Iceman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that his name? Iceman? Yeah. yeah Iceman Dave. Richard Kuklinski. Yeah. yeah. George. Yeah. 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 Was it George or uh, Rich? Richard oh, no. Kuklinski. Rich. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. yeah. That's actually who inspired Stone Cold Steve Austin's character. Was it? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, yeah. There's. Man. He liked he, the way he talked, like he his promos. Well, yeah. He When he's talking in his interviews and he's just like, I don't know. I got like. One interview where I just, I just let a bunch of rats eat a dude, and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. This guy is. And then his brother was, was in jail with him, right? But he didn't like his brother. Yeah, I think and so. They, and he wanted to kill his brother or yeah, something like that too. Like that. Yeah, that's fucking wild, bro. dude. And then he would go home. He had didn't he have like th- he has like four kids yeah. and yeah. a wife. Yeah, yeah. that dude from like a Boardwalk Empire played him, Michael Shannon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. D- oh! Is he that put- what he's doing? When it was he the guy that like whips himself and stuff, or is that a different show? I'm thinking yeah. of? That's that's Boardwalk Empire. That's yeah, him. that's him. That's him. The same actor. He played the Ice Man in, is that, it- in a movie. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he played. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, but gotcha. he had like a he had like a regular wife and shit. And but then he, he was. He, a, but he was a hitman. I don't think he was just murdering. No, people. he was a, a murdering murderer. One time, a guy cut him off in traffic, and he cut him up and put him into a fucking chemical bin right. for cutting him but off. That's and why, but that's why. But he made the extra money with being a hitman. But he was also so feared by the mo- like he would have killed his mo- the mob guys that he worked okay, with. He, he was nuts. he was unhinged. Right. It wasn't like because there's hit, there are hitmen out there that have had interviews. And you can tell they're, I mean, they're murdering bastards, but they're not completely they're not like, like this, sociopath, this guy, crazy this, psychos. this yeah, guy is not only on, un- bro, he's like a, he's like a, like a lion or something. Yeah. It's weird. Like when you see him talk, he's just, he's, oh, an, he's a he has, he has, sure. yeah, he's like, a, he's an animal. Yeah, yeah. There's no, if you guys have never seen the HBO ice, uh, Richard Kuklinski Iceman documentary. Yeah. Watch it. Special. Yeah. Go watch it. It's, he's like super medicated too. Yeah. You can tell he's like, yeah, I just did what I had to do. Yeah. And he yeah, goes, well, how about you? Would you kill me? He's like, if you keep asking me questions. Like that, like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. fun. Dude, yeah, interview's hey, over. He goes, uh, I used a crossbow once uh, just to see what it was like. Like licks his like mouth. He's <laughs> like, Jesus, this guy's fucking nuts. Yeah. Imagine what that guy sees when he goes to sleep. Oh yeah. My God. I think he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. I think he had a die. But I'm just jail. saying, like, what do you see when you go to sleep? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the then and then I'll do the, the You know what he reminded me of? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 go. His delivery reminds me of like Clint Eastwood in, in Gran Torino. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's yeah. like I used to stack fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, all that's just watching the Kuklinski documentary. And we saw it such a long time ago. And I was I, just it's the fact that you the people like that are out there knowing that you're not you could be walking around thinking you are who you are and that you're smarter and more aware and that you're in an area where it doesn't really happen. But that doesn't mean shit. I'm, I'm obsessed with murders. 
Well, I the only thing that really scares me, CCTV videos scare the shit out of me. Oh my god! When they're god. like, they, this is how they were last seen. It's them just like walking. Remember that guy ran away oh, from the airport it. in like Germany? Yeah, bro. What happened to that guy? Nobody ever found this guy, dude. Whatever, he, whatever happened to that guy? He went to the, this guy went to an airport. He's completely fine at one point, and then the next thing you know, he just starts running away, leaving his he le- left Le- his, left luggage. his luggage, runs out of the airport, looking behind him, going like this, runs off into the woods. You don't see anybody chasing him for like five minutes, and he just went into the woods, and he just and then just, no one found yeah, him. Right? They've never seen him again. No found one saw any him ever trace again. Of him, anything. And he what? said that someone was trying to kill him, but bro, no one is chasing him in the videos. Right. Oh, and and there was, I think there's shit. history of him having mental issues. Yeah, yeah. some paranoid schizophrenia. Or but some shit. yeah, but then and then also, but how even, do you disappear fully? Though? Well, that's, that's well, because that's the thing. Even that woman in Ardsley that was missing, that older woman. I don't know if you remember the, the last video of her is CCTV, and she had Alzheimer's or dementia or something, oh. and she's walking in her flip flops, confused, like at night in her dress, in her nightgown. She just left her house and she's walking past the CCTV. Like the the security camera somewhere in Ardsley or something. Terrifying. She walks by. They f- later in that night found her at the bottom near like where the train is, just at in a f- at a fence, just dead. She just yeah. didn't do anything. I guess when you have a disease or something that bad, you probably haven't eaten for days. You just, I guess, you could be so frightened and so uh, uh, like a discombob. What's the word? Like discombobulated. Discombobulated. Yeah. Like probably have a heart uh, <laughs> fucking cardiac arrest and die. Or you just can you'll just stay. You're so lost. You just stay out because you don't even know where you are. You just stay out there until you dehydrate and starve or something. I don't know. But that video of that guy running away is still to this day the weirdest. If you guys that have one, never seen it, look up guy running lost guy. What the fuck do you even type in for that? Guy lost guy German guy. Of, yeah, guy runs out of airport, disappears forever. He gets something. lost. Yeah, and then there's his mom's like, one. I have no idea where he is. He's just he. Yeah, there's the other one where that guy's like at a bar. Yeah. And goes down like an escalator. Yeah. Comes back up the escalator, goes into the bar, and never comes out. Then no one ever saw him again. Oh, my God. It's so weird. Like, how do people, do, like, pull that off, like, flawlessly like that? Oh, my God. So is the girl in the hotel that she had, they, they found out later, like, she, because she was off her meds. Oh, yeah. She jumped in the fucking water tower. But it was such a mystery because so many people, that, that hotel had had such a weird history. Like the serial murder, that murder, the guy that uh, Richard Ramirez. That's where they caught him. The Night Stalker. Yeah, yeah. They he caught to, him there. He used to come home at night with like blood covered shirts. Yeah. Nobody said anything. Yeah, to no him one said anything to him. Yeah, someone do- was murdered in a room there, and there's a video of her like looking at an elevator and then hiding, and then they just found her what in like a water thing, like a tower on. She the, was in the, the water room. tower because like the water in the hotel was starting to get gross. Jared's watching now. Look, no one's behind him. He's just slowly. He's also like slowly jogging. Then he just disappears. And yeah, he goes into the woods, bro. Just running away, and no one ever saw him again. He had to get like eaten by a bear or something. I but gotta, bro, I gotta find this guy. He goes. Do this. He goes. Now I'm fucking scared, bro. He now. goes so far, Jared. Look at him. Yeah. He won't stop. <laughs> it's just there's Yo, no pe- one behind. Him. People disappearing is the scariest shit. Yeah, it is. Weird. Yeah, it there's is. nothing scarier than a disapp- like a missing person. It's Lars so scary. Mid tank. Is that his name, Lars Mitank? Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Just we left his luggage and everything there. He called his mom, mom or someone yeah, on the phone like there. Four guys were trying to kill him or some shit. Yeah. Oh, yo, there was another one. These two girls were like hiking around someplace and uh, they, they disappeared. No one ever saw them again, but they found their camera. And it was like camera, like pictures of them just like chilling. And then like, I think there's like one picture of like, indigenous people like they were there I, I forgot where they were hiking around oh that but like, they but they disappeared and apparently like the indigenous people took them and like fucking yeah, massacred them probably they where, where was it costa rica or some shit okay like, oh, like wow. yeah somewhere somewhere in south america found footage is creepy too yeah. found footage is super creepy yeah, whenever it's real because it's like the, the last things yeah it's always fucking it'll give you like those i dude i can't I can't, I have to watch true crime shit at, at, during the day. I used to go into the nighttime, but then I got to stay up till like six in the morning. Who's that one guy that's like, they never knew where she went. She disappeared. Oh, on YouTube? Yeah, oh, now yeah. she's dead. Uh, is it Who on is YouTube? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but that their guy's voice. everywhere. That guy scares me too. 
because <laughs> of his voice. Yeah, it's like and, your yeah. body was never found. Yeah, and then of course the classic is uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Like, if you have any news on Johnny Washington, <laughs> you ever notice? <laughs> though, like, you ever notice? <laughs> you ever notice like Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah, no, I, I'm talking over it because it's terrifying. <laughs> you guys ever notice though? Like, if you watch Unsolved Mysteries, like stories like weren't that bad. No, some no. of them I like. Jeremy like, came home yesterday, and then like nobody saw him for a couple of days. No, I know what you mean. They're not. They're <laughs> not. Like, they're not completely brutal or anything. Because <laughs> it's like, mostly. Yeah, we found that motherfucker. That's not yeah. even scary, bro. No, because it's mostly. It's mostly just disappearing. But it, I don't. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's. It's not. It's done differently. The newer ones were pretty good because they get into unsolved mysteries. Also, will go into other shit. They'll go into like yeah. alien activity and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in in this one part in uh in uh is it. Nevada? Do you guys say Nevada or is it Nevada? I say Nevada. Nevada. Yeah. Um, it's there's this guy who goes, yo man, listen, like I'm not into any of this shit. <laughs> it's this one interview this guy does. He just he took this really well known picture, and he goes, I I came out here to. He's like, I'm like from New York. I just came here to be like a farm guy. He's like, I just wanted to get away from shit. He's like, I'm not into any weird shit. But uh, I was like outside one day and I just saw this fucking thing just like this lightning, this li this thing just hovering over this plateau thing that's in front of his house. But there's nothing there. There's no wires. There's no and nothing hanging over it. And he's got pictures and he showed them and he goes, <laughs> he's like, listen, I'm not into shit like this. He's like, this is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, he goes, I had to grab my camera and take pictures. He's the one, those kind of people that make me believe you know, and you gotta see the. It's just it's some light that's just hovering over this fucking weird little hill thing. But in that same area, this woman was at home, and it's like this little this little Hispanic woman, and she's just chilling. She's like, all I know is that someone came up to my door, and the knob is just like this, and yeah, she opens it, and she said she just saw a big hairy dude, like hair on his face. All the way down, everything just like naked yeah. but hairy as fuck. He's Persian. And it was like, Ugh! Yeah. and like ran away. <laughs> and then she shut the door and then he came back an hour later and was playing with it again. And then she heard like a, like he, this, whatever this thing, she says he was like fucking eight feet. It was this huge like Sasquatch thing. Oh, shit. And I was like, I don't believe it. And then she showed the side of her fucking RV thing that they like live in. Yeah. And it fucking, it kicked or stomped. A huge fucking dent. You could see like the fucking fist or like the foot imprint. Yeah, it's crazy looking, and it's like an eight. It's like it's this, this, this bit. Yeah, I'll show you. It's know, an episode you on unsolved mysteries, and I don't know if this either. She's a genius, and she made the special effects look great, yeah. or it's just I don't know, man. I look it, at it. I look at it two ways, right? Two ways. Addressing what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. You know how like crocodiles are still around. Yeah, and yeah. they said like they're dinosaurs or whatever. Pretty, pretty mm -hmm. much, Birds like maybe too. maybe there's like a family of cavemen that like kind of just didn't evolve and like survived out there. Yeah, yeah, and like maybe they like go stumbling around every once in a while. Yeah, like, and they're like, yeah, yeah, just like maybe they're just like prehistoric humans. Like maybe they like why not? They you know, if, they, if a pre like if a crocodile could still be around, maybe a prehistoric family still out there. Yeah, yeah, there you is know? there is that one famous. We don't even know. There is that one famous picture of Bigfoot where he's like. He's got that swag where his yeah, arms yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, he's yeah. like pimp walking. You uh, know, right? There's like yeah, that one famous yeah. picture that some dude took. Yeah, somebody asked like a pimp from the seventies to like just walk around in the suit. Yeah. But the yeah. other thing too, uh, that I feel about UFOs is sometimes I do feel the government does that. Like the government would rather us believe in aliens than like what we're actually physically capable of doing. What they're doing, you mean? Yeah, like weaponry and shit like that. Yeah. Well, like people want us to be, like get uh, like get caught in the rat race, like conspiracy theories, like, bro, aliens are came down here. I'm like, no, that's like the government testing out some crazy ass fucking weapon. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, so there's the guy that was on Rogan that was that worked at one of the fucking area whatever things, and he talks about how he. I mean, the guy seems pretty fucking. I mean, who knows? He seems legit though, and he's he's walking in, and he's got. He's talking about his experience going into Area 51 because it's like Roswell, which is where is that again? Is that Arizona? Where is where's Roswell? New Mexico, New Mexico. Oh, it's in New Mexico. Oh, yeah. One of those uh, fucking yeah, one of those, that area. 
<laughs> um, going in there and just see Area 54, yeah, whatever it was, 51, whatever. But he's like looking. Studio 54. At, you probably saw some things fucking floating in Studio 54 yeah, too. Did. Yeah. Yeah, Coke balls. Dicks. Yeah. So, like, there's. <laughs> guys he said it's just that it was this thing that was floating without anything helping it or some shit. And he walked by and just like would take like a side eye view and like look at these things because they didn't want anyone seeing anything. So, I mean, it's it's for sure there's. There's like some, you know, I, there's definitely something. Bro, we made the atomic bomb in the 40s. Yeah. It's yeah. almost 100 years ago. You're going to uh, tell me yeah. we can't find yeah. some fucking I mean, crazy shit that can hover now? But yeah. It's just like Area 51. It's just like, why didn't they do a better job of just hiding that area? It's like, why is it so well known? And because it's, a, it's 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 the throw you off the track of like, That's what I'm saying. of it's creating gross. ill yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like clones and shit. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably like a whole village of cloned people Well, the, that, they another, run, that they run little tests on. Another shit. thing that people bring up all the time is how the pyramids were made. There, There's a guy who swears that he learned the secrets of it. And his his park, his monument thing that he built is still up yeah. and no one knows how the fuck he did it. Right. And he swears that he had the secret to it. He wrote a book and he swears that he did it. That he uh, that he wrote this he wrote this book about it and swears that he had the secret to uh, to how the pyramids were built. There were there's blocks and fucking things that he made that no one per you can even you couldn't even lift up with fifty people right yeah or with even like certain cranes and machines and it was at the time that he did it and it's still there and no one knows how he got these certain parts these building blocks. To be on these statues, strong Jews. So, like, no one, <laughs> no one knows, no one knows how he did it or how how this happened. But he's, but people think it was there was like sound vibrations and things that like they, that you could do yeah. and something. Eddie Griffin has like a cool. The comedian Eddie Griffin has yeah. a cool kind of uh, theory on how they did it. Yeah, um, and he he, it's it's pretty cool if you see it. Just like Eddie Griffin YouTube pyramid theory. It comes up with this crazy kind of prehistoric, prehistoric way of lifting like heavyweight stones and shit. Yeah, I feel like that's possible though. Like yeah. they could figure out some weird levy pull system. Yeah, they were like these people were living off fucking. Than, yeah, than we yeah. Give credit for that's yeah. For sure. I'm sure they had way more like ingenuity than you know we do now. People created the wheel. Yep. Yeah, they did. It's kind of wild if you think about it. They were like, oh, let's put these triangles on the side. They're like, what if we just made this round? Yeah. yeah, and there's things that you could do with physics that, I don't know, they swear that the Egyptians just had a technique and stuff that they just didn't, that they just don't, that was just lost in time that no one, I don't know, that they had their own style, but I don't know. Then you have the people who are like, nah, aliens came here and like fucking made them do it. Yeah. Like, why would aliens build rock castles? Someone, I think, I think you know someone I mean? said, I think someone over the said, world. I think they someone said it because it was like making mar yeah, like yeah. coordinates. Yeah, they were marking. Uh, but the one thing that's always been weird to me is that there, that there's people that always talk about like aliens being over water and doing shit with water, like that they come down just to fucking take water for whatever fucking reason. Maybe they just need it because it's like lacking where they live or some shit. I don't fucking know. Because there, the, there was a couple in this one town where everyone saw these lights, and this one couple swears that they saw like a fifty foot water going up and being sucked up by this fucking, uh, this object. That's crazy. That's the thing that that scares me though. Too the universe in general, the fact that it it's never crazy. ends is terrifying. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, and then we just all die. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, let's wrap this up. Uh, you know. Uh, listen, guys. Um. Check this out. Bridgeport, Connecticut. I'm doing two shows August 12th. Come check me out. Get tickets. Long Island, New York. I'll be there September 21st. Governor's uh, Comedy Club. Come check me out. September 27th. I'll be in New Brunswick, New Jersey at Stress Factory. Mm, Come check me out. Bam. All right. So August 12th, I will be in Connecticut. September 21st, I will be in... Bam. In Bam. where? Oh, <laughs> at least at Birmingham. I said, I don't think I'm going there. September 21st, I will be in Long Island. And September 27th, I will be in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm waiting for you to just be like, I'm right, going to I'm, I'm gonna be out in Alabama. Let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's coming. Um, but yeah, check out those dates. All those dates I'll put uh, below and you guys can come check it out and come see stand up. Michael, where can they find you on the Internet, bud? 
Michael underscore Lo Priori on everything, and Twitter is Lo Priori Mike. All right, cool. Jared? Uh, Jared Lo Priori at IG. All right, guys. This has been Lo Priori Podcast. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Download the episode. Subscribe. Turn the notifications on. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Skinny Marinky deuces. Uh-huh.